Hello everyone and welcome back to the vault. Happy to have you guys here today. We're getting back into some more Dark Souls. And I'm actually, I'm really excited about it. I, I have been really excited about playing this game over and over and over again. And I don't know why specifically. Um, I've been really, really thrilled with it. But um, it's been good. It's just been really good. I can't complain. I don't know. But I'm excited at the opportunity um, that we're going to have some fun. Get some uh, get some good games in with it. Hopefully everyone's having a great day. Um, so yeah, welcome back everyone. Happy to have you guys all here. Um, when we last left off with uh, specifically just the Dark Souls side of things, um, I had just gotten to uh, Shelob the Spider Queen with the epic chest. And um, things... Things are going pretty well. I don't really know where to head next. Hey, Psycho, how are you? I don't really know where to head next. Um, but who knows? I, you know, like I don't, I don't know where I'm supposed to go or what like the ideal like route is or anything like that. I'm hoping we get some of our friends to show up. Um, that you know are are really really thrilled about the game because I've been having so much fun with everyone you know around. Uh, around dark souls and and playing it so um yeah let's let's get to some grinding at the very least um psycho glad to hear that you're chilling man we were uh we were having a joke earlier um what was i gonna say we were having a joke earlier because uh maggie was talking about the fact that like oh i bet uh, i bet psycho sh shows up like all the time now you know because of uh because of you not streaming apex and I was like, um, I mean, yeah, he's come in a couple more times than normal. <laughs> At least, you know, normal as of late. Playing some Phantom Abyss. Wait, Phantom Abyss. Well, I recognize that name. Let me let me look this up. Phantom Abyss. Oh, is that the one that E's been playing? Or sorry, not E, uh, Orko. Orko's been playing this. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like first person Indiana Jones park parkour. I remember you got like mini puzzles and everything. Hey, you got far. Yeah, I killed the uh, I killed the spider queen um, just last night. Uh, it's It's been better watch out for those things. So I feel like I've got a rough strat on them. So like if I attack... And then I wait for them all to spawn, and then I just kind of like slice. Like they they seem pretty simple, and I've got that thing that uh, every time I get a kill, I get HP back so far, um, which has been really really helpful. Um, so I can just kind of like farm, and because I'm technically getting souls from all of them, I'm getting constant refresh. So like because I'm getting five kills, I'm getting the equivalent of what it would be, you know, for five separate kills in healing, which is like quite a bit. You know what they can do, right? No, I do not. I do not. What can they do? What do they do? I, I've seen them spew blood at me. I've seen them spew blood at me. Other than that, I have no idea what they do. Is it like poison? Is it that curse that those other crazy ones do? Because there was one that had like a curse and they turned me into like half health or something like that. And I had to go get the purging stone. You know, because I got... I got some sort of sex curse or something like that from like touching people. I'm pretty sure they can lay an egg in your head and within time it hatches. Wait, what? Does it like reduce my HP? Like, wait, what? Don't you crawl towards me. Don't you crawl towards me. Don't you at me. And my head explodes. Pretty sure that the slugs can lay eggs and then my head explodes. Let me look it up to make it make sure. Wow, what? Uh, I don't, how do I tell what they're called? I, I doesn't, it doesn't, there's not like a bar above their name or anything with like a nameplate. Yeah, I have no idea what they're called. Slug thing, random slug thing, fuck on me. <laughs>
you know, whatever, whatever they are. Reese Jew, how are you? How's your, uh, how's your sister? How's COD treating you guys? Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic time. Wait, am I supposed to go this way? Am I under the world tree? Am I under Yildrassil? Where, where am I? I'm gonna go down this ramp over here. I don't know what's over here. I, I also have a feeling like I'm like in the eye of Sauron, the pit of Sauron. What's that mountain? Gol, Gol, Glamesh Mountain. What the fuck is the name of that place? Ayo, Jacob, Ayo. Dude, dude, Psycho, Jacob and I haven't been playing Warzone. Um, we only played yesterday. I wanted to try and play today, but I wanted to spend time with my cat, um, admittedly. But we've been playing Warzone. It's been a lot of fun. You should join us. Now that you have a PC that can run it without you crying on the inside, you should join us. That way we can all, like, want to die together. You're self-isolating. Yeah, is, isn't England back in lockdown again? Is that right? I feel like I heard that from a couple different people. No, it's not. Okay, all right. I thought I thought someone had said that they were in in uh, lockdown. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I'll make sure it's installed. Please do, P please do. Well, yeah. There's there's always like new new um, strains of COVID, which is just like the flu. You know, like that that's something that's just always kind of been common is that you know you get you get a strain of the flu that just explodes. Um, and then you get another strain of the flu that's new. And that's why people are always like, oh, well, I got the vaccine. I shouldn't get the flu. What the hell? It's like, yeah, but they only, they only combat like the five of the most, um, probable flu issues that you're going to run into during the course of a season. And so like someone can still get the flu with, you know, like there's no reason to think that it's not functional. Um, Bearing eggs on its back, the nightmare begins with a slight itch on the head, and soon the parasite will be siphoning the souls of the slain enemies. Unless you find this amusing, quickly use egg verm vermifuge to purge it. Oh, okay, so I have a couple of those. We're getting cucked by the D, and also the UK plus the African versions of the COVID. I don't know any of those. I, I haven't looked into them, admittedly. Walk up to a moving egg carrier and let him grab you to be infected. Your character will start scratching their head as an idle animation. Um, if the inf infection was successful, it hatches after about five minutes. The egg consumes half your earned souls. Even after it evolves, it will evolve uh, and will evolve after it consumes 100,000 souls and makes a total of 200,000. 100K for you and 100K for the parasite by consuming collected souls. The total amount, no, no helmet. Or, okay. No, yeah, yeah. So wait, like, can you actually let it evolve on purpose so that that way you can, like, farm, like, a tougher creature for better XP or something? Is that why people might do that? Because, like, why would they, why would you want to, why would you want that to happen? You know, like, you can wear it as a helmet? Oh, you mean, you mean the bug or the the slug or the egg layer creature like thing <laughs> the bug slugger why would people want to do that become one with the bug slugger oh this looks this looks healthy for me giant ominous boss like area huge giant scorpion like fire tails this is fine this is this is fine this is fine. I don't have to worry about anything. This seems entirely normal. Humanely and easily normal. How do I go like right from one boss right to another boss? That doesn't seem right. Yeah, he's magma face. His skins melts it off. Wait, do I just not have to pull him? I don't have to pull him. All right, see you later. Have fun. Have fun. Oh, I grabbed this and then that's what creates the problem. Okay. Yep. So I don't touch thing. Thing don't touch me. Ceaseless discharge. You should get that looked at, buddy. You should really get that looked at. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, I stole your loot, bye. 
I have to go back? Can I just like sit back back here and then just arrow him to death? Like lol you fam? Would I, would I be wrong if I said that I think that that boss killed me? I think it got me. I'm not 100% certain, but I'm like 99% certain that that boss killed me. Do I have to go this way? Like, I already grabbed the loot, right? Like, why... If I got the gold helmet, then why do I need to kill that boss? I'm just gonna go back. Where else am I supposed to go? Where the hell do I go? Oh, there's the gate that I opened with the double bells. I forgot about that. Oh, I can go like all the way up. Okay, so I can go like a completely different direction. All right, yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. So I'm gonna head back then. I wanna see what's up there, cause I don't know about this boss. Maybe I'm not supposed to face them yet. I wish there was a quicker way back up. What Dark Souls is this anyways? This is just one, um, just Dark Souls 1, not like the remastered version, I don't think, um, because someone had stated that when you're playing the remastered version, you can like double tap down, or sorry, you tap and hold down and it'll automatically bring you back to the Estus Flask, which is not the case. I have to continue to cycle through them. So um, I do not think that I have that version particularly. Yeah, um, sorry, buddy. I need souls back because I just lost all mine. Yeah, super easy, though, to kill these guys. I mean, in their 90 souls, not a ton, but um, it's easy to farm them. So, like, if I needed some heals, I guess I could just, like, run in here and, like, kill a couple and go all the way down and kill a couple and come come up, come back up. I don't know. The mosquitoes aren't bad either. They kind of help me um, get some of my HP back if I need it. So, I mean, there's a couple different ways that I can kind of, like, make it relatively easy. I have to get poison. So I knew that was coming. And then I have to like go around this side in order to get to somewhere stable. What is the lighting? What is the, oh, the lighting is just terrible. That's dark, that's like, that's why they call it Dark Souls. Is because like you're in a soulless dark area. That's actually like, like they came out and said that that's why they named the game that. They didn't know how to do like ray tracing or anything like that. This is far before that time. <laughs> far b before the time of tracing of rays. So I'm just gonna grab, I'm gonna grab this regen real fast since like I know that I have it and it's kindled. No, that, that's not accurate though. I'm just I'm just talking on my ass, Jacob, by the way. I I have no idea. Like none of that I think is accurate at all. Oh, I forgot that I just did that thing that I was just talking about doing. And then I'm terrible at this game. Okay, so then I have to go up, I think. Right? Yeah, in order to get to like the elevator or whatever that I was at before. So I go up this way and then go up the ladder. Hey, what's up, Sunday Duke? How are you today? Welcome back to the vault. Great to see you. So I go up this way and then I go around on this like little ledge thing. If there's a faster way, I don't know about it. So it's fine. 
Jacob, did you end up playing uh, Warzone at all? You know, like in the process, even though I wasn't playing, like, did you end up getting in some games, like get in some practice or anything like that? Oh, Shep, almost screwed that up. No, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Just wondering. I know uh, before I was playing like zombies just to try and level guns. So like, you know, in order to get my gun set up for Warzone, I was playing zombies so that that way, whenever I got into Warzone, I had everything already ready to go. You know, like I thought that that's where it was a little bit more beneficial is that I can sit there and play something to farm and to be prepared. So it's easier to play because um, you, then you can get attachments and you can get a gun that actually works like it's supposed to <laughs> build your loadouts and all that nonsense. I think loadouts are honestly one of the most important things. Um, and just because they're overpowered, you know, you can get ghosts and all that nonsense that makes you like almost untrackable, especially with sound suppressors. Um, but what is it? Um, I actually, I, I, this is a hot take, but I know I've, every once in a while I've run across someone who agrees, but I actually think that having the, uh, having the loadouts in the game makes it less fun. Hey, E, how are you? How how are you really? E, I hope you're having a great day. Hope you're doing well. I'm glad to have you here. E, I wanted your hot take. Um, What do you think about gamers in the space on Twitch um, who get notifications for things like bans? And what do you think about the ban system here on Twitch? Because, like, I know Shroud was just kind of talking about it, and I wholeheartedly agree. They said a new leak on a zombie's last map. Wait, there's a new leak on one? I didn't see any information on a new zombie's map at all. I'm not saying that that's not true. I'm just saying that, like, I just haven't seen it. That would be an update to me. That didn't hit me. That hit him. Do you do you know is it like a larger map? Is there like a lot to it? Have they said anything about the 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 thing at all? Or is it just like, hey, there's a new zombies map, by the way, lol. Out. Oh crap, I should have rolled. I wasn't fast enough to get up off the ground. No big deal. No big deal. I'm eager to hear E's, E's insight on this issue. I'm eager to hear anyone's insight on the issue. Does anyone think, um, so there's there's a, a couple a couple people that have ended up talking about this. And, you know, obviously you see a lot of streamers. I would love to hear everyone's point of view. Um, you see a lot of streamers who do things that get them in the position where they get banned. And most of the time it's not a permanent ban. And then what's interesting is that, like, after the person's not streaming, like, they come back stronger than ever. So like they'll be they'll be sitting there and you know they, they can't get online, they can't play, they can't stream, they can't do anything, they can't interact, they can't whatever. And then all of a sudden they come back and like they have more views than they ever did previously. And so like it's weird because, you know, obviously they're they're like using the wrong word in my opinion. Like it should be called a suspension, it shouldn't be called a ban because it's temporary. A ban is like that's a permanent thing. I mean it's obviously you can you can retract or revert a ban, but the intention is to to say like, okay, well, I'm going to do things, terrible things or, you know, dramatic things in order to get the attention that I need. And then after I get the attention that I need, I'm going to come back and everything's going to be better than ever. They said outside or inside. Okay, so it's going to be like kind of like the uh, the first map. You know, it'll have like more of like an open world ish. Obviously, the first one's really small, but I, I think that they need to stick to Outbreak as much as possible. I think Twitch doesn't have their priorities uh, quite in line yet with bans. I also don't get why people uh, follow ban bots on Twitter that showcase dramas with bans. I feel like it should be a suspension rather than a ban because ban just seems to be the buzzword with people. Absolutely. Absolutely. It should be called a suspension, in my opinion. And that's kind of the point that I'm talking about is that realistically, it's just, you know, Creators get flagged for doing something, saying something, acting something, you know, whatever it may be. 
and they get removed temporarily from the platform to where they cannot, you know, correspond or interact or engage or broadcast or whatever. And that's just a suspension. And like it, the same concept, like if you guys remember, if you if you ever dealt with it in high school, like if someone got suspended, like everyone was like, ooh, they're a hard ass. Like, ooh, wow, you know? Like it became kind of like a topic of discussion within the school is because now all of a sudden you have someone who did something that was kind of wrong as it were. And here they are coming back stronger than ever. And like everyone now thinks that they're popular, right? Just because they were the buzz of the high school. And so the same can be said basically of streaming. Like it really is no difference. Like streaming is basically, I mean, like the, any, any media or, um, you know, fame based category or, you know, uh, social media attention based you know, industry or, or job career, like they're all kind of the same in the sense that their focus is, I can't move. I literally, I couldn't move. Um, Their, their focus is around attention, constant attention, constant attention, constant attention. And so like, um, I think it's interesting because you have a lot of people who don't know how to deal with that. And I think that you see that commonly from stars and media stars that, you know, down the road, a lot of people end up like in really, really tough positions. I mean, like suicide is one of the more common things that people have to deal with within the space of of fame. Um, and it's it's pretty rough to see that. Like, it's pretty rough to see the mental struggles and the distress from individuals because they're they're under constant attention. And then the moment it gets removed, they feel like they're not succeeding because their entire career revolves around that. Talking about Twitch bans, I think that there should be more focus on the fact that men are banned more than women. Like the old alumni drama where she threw her cat. Hold on, let me let me let me finish this thing and then I'm gonna catch up here. Just one second. Um where she threw her cat, didn't get banned, but she did get banned once and literally asked Twitch to ban her. And there was a man showing off a lizard and the lizard slides off his hand and falls off like two centimeters and he got banned. That is just weird. I, I don't, listen, there there may be a level of favoritism to that. I don't know. I don't, I'm not, I'm not, this is not my like official statement on this. I don't know if there's any level of favoritism to it. I'm sure that Twitch has some favoritism. I mean, you, you've constantly seen um, not as much attention around, uh, you know, BIPOC streamers um, or or females, in, for example, you know, trans streamers, things like that. And there's a lot of a lot of negativity from Twitch's side surrounding that because they don't do things to allow for the level of exposure that you would from stars. But this goes back to something I kind of had said ages ago that Twitch always wants to focus on whatever makes them money, right? Like at the end of the day, it's a company that needs to make money. And things like this, like drama, you know, continue to elicit more cash for them because they know that if a person comes back, that they're going to see more subs than ever, which that might mean an extra hundred to $200,000 a year from Twitch. Like, so they're like, well, hell yeah, like let's get this person banned so that that way I'm, I'm we're going to make a whole lot more money. You know, which is that's that's already effed up as it is, but like it it will. I mean, it, it's proven that it will end up making them more money. So is Twitch doing this with the intent to just make cash as a cash grab? Like they reach out to a handful of creators and say, "Hey, we want to try and start shit between the three of you guys." Um, you know, like let's say two girls and a guy, and both the girls, both the females are interested in a guy, or two girls are interested in another female, or you know, whatever it is. And we want you guys to fight over it so that that way we can we can garner some attention. It benefits you and it benefits us. What do you think? Most of people aren't going to say no. I mean, mo a lot of people are in this for money. You know, a lot of people are in this as a career. So if you gave them an opportunity to make an extra $100,000 a year, would they do it? Hell yeah. She even did accidental nip slips and didn't get banned. Honestly, feel like... It's an interesting viewpoint. I, I I mean that's that's a growing concern, I guess. But I don't think they're doing that. I think that they just have to be careful, as it were. I I think 
I think that they just have to be careful and they're trying to protect themselves and be secure and safe. Uh, Better Man, hello, good evening. How are you? All right, so I have to go across like this bridge and then go up, I think. KJ and Corinne, hot tubs, got banned for kissing her friend live on a stream, got flagged for sexual content. Then you have two people dry humping on the front page a few days ago and Twitch does not. Wait, that that one that one with the um, the uh, the people who were like the, there, there was like uh, a person who was like slapping a person with like a whip or something like that. And they were like, is it is it? it, it I think that's the same people. Because I remember seeing that on the front page and being like, holy crap. And then I tweeted about it. And I was like, how how is this within TOS? Like, really, how is that how is that allowed? Like, did I miss something? Why isn't the thing there? I came down on it. I literally came down on that elevator. Yeah, there was no way that that was within TOS. Little Timmy did fall down the well. I came down on that elevator. There's no reason that the elevator shouldn't be there. So that's just a continuity issue. Which, that's fine. Dark Souls has problems. Dot com. Everyone said that uh, Dark Souls is full of glitches as well, which I think is terrible, personally, that a company can have such a large following um, and still hold a standard... When you have other people, and sometimes even the same people, saying like, oh, well, games should be finished and not broken. Like, they should come out complete. How how do people like games like this know that there are similar problems, but then harass a game like, let's say, Cyberpunk for literally the exact same thing? Like, there's a level of hypocrisy there. I think that goes to the same point. Like, there's a level of hypocrisy within Twitch bans and streaming. Okay, what is happening here? I know that I'm hitting that mosquito. Does Twitch have no TOS against por pornography slash nudity? Like, okay, so it wasn't pornography and nudity. There was no pornography and nudity involved. However, it was definitely sexualized content. I mean, like, it, it is bedroom activity, 100%. Like, you don't do that for fun. It wasn't like an individual was fully clothed and they happened to show a whip on the stream. It wasn't like that. It was like two people half naked in less than bikinis, like thongs and everything, riding each other, gr like grinding, dry humping, and using adult toys. With phrases involved as well. So, like, there was a lot to that beyond just what you're thinking of. Yeah, yeah, they, they had, like, some stuff on the front page, uh, Better Man. I mean, I don't... Listen, I, I... I mean, it doesn't... It doesn't affect me because I can't make an impact about it. So, like, what the hell am I supposed to do? You know what I mean? I can talk about it, though. But we were kind of talking about Twitch bans in general, and then this kind of got brought up. And so that was, that was, I feel like, about a week and a half, two weeks ago that that showed up. I think it was last year a partner streamer had to leave her room for a minute to take care of her kid... Wow. Yeah, I mean, I think there's a level of inconsistency. That I can agree with. There, There's definitely some things that have happened that have made me like, well, yeah, how, where, where, where is the standard? Does that make sense? At what point does it begin and at what point does it end? But I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like, listen, Twitch is going to do what they're going to do no matter what. I think that there needs to be a better a better gauge of uh, things for the community and what's beneficial and what isn't beneficial. But that kind of falls on the people, right? Like, it's on the people to have a ruling on what's acceptable and what's not. To hold and talk about a standard of what's acceptable and what's not. And if you don't establish that, 
then it's your own fault because you're physically saying that like, I find this acceptable because I'm not saying anything about it, right? And I don't think that there's a way that people can voice their opinions adequately and feel heard at the same time. No, that's okay, better man. You're allowed to hide if you want. You do whatever you want. Um, yes. Hey, uh, Propa, is that Propa, Propaganda Gen X? Is that right? I think that's right. Propaganda Gen X. Hello, how are you? But yeah, I think I think that there's I I, I think that the largest focus for us as people um, is that we we there should be a way that the community of Twitch can come together and agree upon terms to a a. a to a majority value that we can continue to hold and it can flux or dynamically change. That's what I think. And so if we run into circumstances where 90% of the population believes that X should happen, then that's something that we should execute on. And then if like, you know, for whatever reason, like some world event changes our view on something and then they say like the next time it happens, is this something that you think is acceptable? You're good. I think the largest issue is that you have so many problems. You have so many problems between streamers. Like, let's say, for example, um, I don't know. I, I don't I don't know of two streamers that hate each other that are big. I don't I don't know because I don't follow a lot of that stuff. I just, you know, I try and keep up with the news on the platform more than I do of the individual. But I don't know, let's just say streamer A and streamer B, right? Streamer A hates streamer B, and the community from streamer A sees that streamer B does something bad. Like streamer A's community is going to attack streamer B because it's an opportunity for streamer A to succeed. And I think that that's where we have the issue is that that, that falls into that whole cancel culture thing. So like, how do we fight that? How do we fight that people are fanatics for uh, people that they care or enjoy? They care about or enjoy. Because, like, tons of streamers get represented to a level of detriment sometimes because of how adamant they are about their community. Like, they're so prideful that it actually diminishes the value of what we're expecting on the platform in a level of, of moral integrity. It's like that one teacher who can tell favors uh, a student but will be by the book to the rest of the students. I'm not... Um, harshing on any teachers out there in chat. I am one. Trust me, it bugs me, but some of the peers do that. Yeah, yeah, well, and some of them do, right? It's like the teacher's pet concept. Like, that's blatant favoritism. And you're no matter what, you're going to have that within social spaces across the board because that's how we are as human creatures. But is it right? And at what point does that break down and we actually evolve as, as human society? I don't know. Did you hear about the maker of the FNAF uh, for literally voting Trump? He even retired. Cancel culture is just terrible. Listen... There's, I don't want to, I don't want to de degrade into politics too much, right? Like, it's one thing to talk about psychology. I just, we, we are not, we're not here to belittle a person based off of their viewpoints or their, their, their stuff, unless it is harmful or hurtful to another person. I just, I want to, I want to summarize and, and literally I want to lay down the book right now and state that that is not going to happen here. A person's entitled to their viewpoints. They're entitled to an opinion, and you can have your own opinion about whether or not that's wrong. Right? From there, I don't know. But I definitely don't agree with cancel culture. Oh, these guys are dummy thick. I've got to I've got to make sure I don't know if I I don't know if I hit that thing. I've got to go back and hit this real fast cuz I don't think I hit this. Oh god. It's just the community that makes it bad. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know enough about FNAF. Um Yeah, but so like
we're both on our first playthrough. Uh, I just finished The Depths and I'm on my way to Blighttown. Well, fantastic. How are you liking it so far, Propaganda X? Or sorry, Propaganda Gen X. Um, and then secondly, what do you feel like has been the most challenging for you learning while you've been playing Dark Souls thus far? I, I have been having a little bit of a problem myself just the with, with the way that I'm built, trying to get used to very, very efficiently, trying to get used to parry and, and block and dodge and some of the mechanics of how the boss fights work with dodge. Um, so like sometimes even if I dodge, like I know that there's like the frame, like the iframes and skipping that, like just at the right time, if I get really, really good at that, I can dodge like any attack or whatever, even if it's over top of me. But other times I feel like I roll under a sword and physically I see the sword go over my face or over my head and I roll underneath it and the game's still like, nah fam, nah. You, you got hit more than i thought dang actually you know what we where i feel so lost like where should i go you can call me prop okay i'm liking it it hasn't been too challenging but i've heard many tales of blight town my biggest problem is timing rolls yeah so my timing on the roll same thing right like i'm i'm still not quite down to the feeling very very comfortable with exactly when and where i need to roll that's for sure which you guys can also do watch time um, we added a command called watch time, exclamation watch time. That'll show you how much time in minutes, seconds, hours, all that, that you have been watching. So um, follow age is not the only one that we have anymore. We finally added the other one. So um, prop, I, I feel like me getting into uh, Blight Town, the largest thing that I had to worry about were the sack guys. So there's like these assassins that shoot these poison darts. When they did that, I, I had a little bit of a problem because like they poison you and then you have issues, you know what I mean? That was my largest dilemma. Ow! He done flipped it and reversed it. I just want to top off. My guy takes so long to drink from a flask. I'm just going to say that. Out. Hey, I got him. All right, that guy's dead finally. Demon Titanite? I don't even know what that does. Uh, I weigh, uh, roll way too early most of the time. I'm going to take a trip to the female merchant so I can buy purple moss. Yes, definitely do that. Make sure that you have that. I mean, so it, it should be active time. So, Jacob, what Twitch considers active time if you, if you like, let's say you muted the stream or had it down really low or you haven't refreshed it in a while or you're not actively there or you never typed or something like that, whatever all Twitch does in the background, all that stuff, if you're not considered a viewer, it doesn't count it. So, like, whatever. I mean, I know you've been watching a long time, but if you're not counted as a viewer, then it, it's not counting any of that time. That's why I said, like, it's it's hard. It's hard being a streamer because like I don't know what Twitch considers as a viewer. So I don't know how to tell my community like how to help if we want to try and grow the community so that we have more people here. I don't know what to do. That's another thing that I feel like there should just there should be a standard on. Like just tell me regardless what I need to do and how how the community can help and we'll make it work. Just be open. Don't mute the stream, mute the tab. No, don't even mute the tab. That doesn't work either. Don't just drop it on as low a volume as you can. You you cannot mute tabs or mute streams. I don't think that 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 functions. A lot of people say that it does, but in my testing, I don't think that that's true. I really don't. So like if you have speakers, like let's say hypothetically you have speakers or a headset, right? You could have the stream on and then turn the headset itself all the way down and the system wouldn't know any better. 
I was actually watching your stream last night until you ended, but I decided not to talk for some. Hey, that's okay. That's okay. Listen, I, I appreciate lurkers just the same, right? But I do know how important it is for, for streamers to have the information to know what they're looking for and know what they have to do to succeed. I think that that's valuable. It'd be like showing up for a job and not getting any feedback on what you have to do for that job. They'd be like, well, we're going to fire you if you don't do what, we're, what you're supposed to do. And they'd be like, what am I supposed to do? And then just walk away. <laughs> me muting Twitch window through Windows Audio Mixer. Keeps me active. Gotcha. Yeah, that might work. Because then you're physically... The system doesn't know that it's not getting sound. Maybe. I would just drop the volume down. Like, that's that's guaranteed. But either way, I appreciate lurkers just the same as I appreciate people who are active and talking. I know that that's going to happen. And I know that lurkers drive twi Twitch, right? Because lurkers still are beneficial. They still tell people about streams. They still interact. They still involve themselves. They still know what you're doing. They still involve themselves outside via social media. Like, there's tons of stuff that, that any person as a member of the community offers up regardless of how often or how much they're watching. So, uh, you know, thank you all, everyone, really. Which if anyone wants to play Warzone, we were actually talking about this with uh, Jacob last night. Um, for anyone who may have missed it, we mentioned it yesterday. Um, we were thinking about getting custom lobbies back up and running. We did this a long time ago and kind of just didn't do it anymore. If anyone is interested in that, I would love to be able to do that again. I would be thrilled to be able to do that again. Customs maybe, but casual ranked not. Yeah, they don't have ranked. So you wouldn't have to worry about that. Um, they only have like casual mode. It's honestly, it's not bad. As long as you're... I would say as long as you're just laissez-faire about it, like, hey, you know what? If we win, great. If we don't win, then that's fine. I definitely do not play Warzone like I play Apex. I will tell you that right now. I don't. Do we have any other Warzone players out there? Just, you know, show of hands. Depending on times, I might be able to drop in for some Warzone. I mean, hey, it's up to you, Better Man. If you want to try and get in on it, we would love to have you. I'm always open to more people. I just love playing with people, and that's one of the things which... It's one of the things that... I, I actually, it was really touching last night. Um, so my YouTube video that I just posted the other day, we almost hit 2,000 views on it. And I haven't had, I would say, a level of success on the YouTube side of things, like, ever. And I actually got a little emotional, a little teary-eyed last night. So I just want to say thank you. Anyone who's watching those videos or interacting, commenting, doing anything like that, thank you so much. Um, because it, it means something to me, and I just, like... I know how many more people, like, we literally have people who re have reached out. I've gotten a couple messages like, hey, how often do you play Apex? I'd love to play sometime. And the more people that we have here, same thing, the more people that can play with each other, and the more we have that, the less people have to play alone, and that sucks. Like, it doesn't matter if it's Apex or Warzone or this or Dark Souls 3 or, you know, a strategy game or shooters or, you know, whatever. Like, having people to play with consistently... I, I don't I don't know about you guys, but it makes me feel fantastic knowing that I have friends that I can always reach out to and just say like, hey, do you want to play something? Whatever it is, like just play something. I'm down with it. Let's go. Like, I love that. Uh, it's me getting shredded from a comp a camper that puts me off those games. Oh, who cares about that? Just use your heartbeat sensor. Go in with your friends. Get a buyback. You know, if you're playing solo, you can't rely on people to, to buy you back. But if you're playing with friends, it's like, yeah, OK, we'll get you. We'll figure it out. We're going to try and do what we can. I also should reinforce my longbow. Wait, why can't I reinforce? Oh, I need shards. Purchase item. Shards. Let's do that. And then reinforce weapon. And I'm going to reinforce my longbow a couple times. That way I can increase the damage that I'm doing with that. Uh, I have three friends that I can count on to play with. We've been friends for almost 10 years. And see, and that's, that's, that's fantastic. 
Yeah, I gave up on worrying about campers, too. It's just something that comes with the territory of COD, I feel like. Which, you know, it is what it is. It sucks, but it is what it is. Just slide and gun. I mean, that's pretty much what everyone does. Just run around and, and, and slide and jump, and then slide and then jump, and then slide and then jump. If you're not doing that, you're not living your best COD life. Bombard the house with grenades. Yeah. Yeah, I like to I like to keep a drone because then I'll fly it into the house and then I'll just like stare at them and then they get all pissed and then you just start spamming the wall where they are. I love that. Like all your all your friends just start unloading and mag dumping into a wall like right where they are and then boom, the next thing you know, the guy's dead through the wall. You just headshot him or whatever. Like everyone's just like you got like four people firing at him. <laughs> Lol, you get wrecked nerd. That's what you get for camping. Lol. It's, I think it's great too because like it works it works even if um even if the person's got the uh the uh the chill mode on or whatever the ghost ghost recon ghost ghost recon algorithm I actually played yesterday for the first time in ages nice I've got 10 minutes before the next round starts actually oh okay Sammy How's DBD? Are you doing, uh, I would assume you're doing survivor stuff. Probably not killer stuff. Or are you saying, like, paladins? You've got ten minutes. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I haven't gone down through the crypt yet, and that was kind of, like, mediocre in a quality of stuff. I don't know where to go. Um, I'm level 40. I just finished Blighttown. Just finished it. Garbage. Get your garbage here. I'm working. I'm watching a charity event. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. Is that the, um, the ALS dog thing that you posted earlier? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, I mean, like, I, I just you finished, like, face. right past where you are now. Like, the shit on it. like, really, like, we're, we are, like, neck and neck almost, is what I would say. You know, just I, I don't know how accurate that is, but I feel like if we're like you finished the area or I finished the area that you're literally at now in this game, I feel like that's neck and neck. Um, It's going fantastic, Fox. How are you feeling right now? E, are you still here? E to interact. Are you are you still out there? Do you know where I'm supposed to go? I think you might be the only person in here right now who's finished this. You're almost level 30. Yeah, see, we're not far off. Like I got, I killed, I killed the boss of the Blight Town, and then I just, I dumped, I dumped all my XP into levels, and so like I think I went up like three or four levels from Blight Town, so you're you're not that far off. Hanging out and playing some MTG Magic: The Gathering, right? You're playing online, right, with users, you know, people online. Is that is that accurate? I don't know where to go. E, help me, help me find where I'm supposed to go. I don't know what to do. Do I go down and go the water route? And then, like, go that way? I've never been to Londo. I don't, I don't know how to get to Londo. Well, Puppers is a DBD streamer that got diagnosed with ALS, and most of the DBD community is raising money for his treatment. Oh. That's terrible. Yeah, we, we do play DBD. I haven't played that often, if I'm just being honest. Like, I really only enjoy playing that game with friends. Me playing that solo, like, it's it's okay to play as a killer, but me playing that solo has just not been fun. Like, you go in and, like, honestly, I've had worse experiences with randoms in DBD than I ever have in any game of my life of Apex. Like, they, they they throw games. It's like every single player on your team is an octane main that decides that they want to jump off of a cliff. I can't stand it. Uh, Prop, thank you so much for the follow. Greatly appreciate it. Welcome to the vault, and thank you for becoming a vault dweller. Happy to have you here. So I'm assuming you did the Undead Parish and the Dark Root Garden. I'm not sure. What's what's the Undead Parish? I've done, I've done the Gargoyles. I did the Gargoyle Twins. And then I killed the uh, the butterfly, which maybe that's the undead parish and dark root garden. The only thing I haven't killed is like the giant water hydra. Someone said that there's like an icy water hydra at the bottom by like some sort of castle bed thing. I haven't done that. Um, okay, so yes, I've done those. And then I went through Blighttown E 
and then I just finished the um, uh, Shelob at the bottom of Blight Town. I love DBD. I have 2K hours in it. That's fantastic to hear. Um, hold on. Let me see here. Foxpox said, I'm doing okay hanging out and playing MTG. Okay, I'm caught up. I just wanted to make sure I'm caught up with everyone. Dilla, uh, John, and I were saying, like, if you want to get really mad and have a bad day, play solo queue and DBD. Exactly. And you know me. I'm a patient person. I really am. Like, I'm a, a pretty patient person, but getting into that, I can't do it. I cannot do solo queue DBD. It's too much for me. Like, I guess if, if someone really wanted to actually make me rage, they'd be like, hey, I'm do solo queue DBD for a week for charity. And I'd be like, I'm going to create a bad image for that charity company. They're going to be like, why is this person even streaming? <laughs> Wait, why is there a person over there? Wait, E, there's a person over where that thing is. That was the stuff that you said I could drop down to. What? Just go kill her. Nah, I'd make you rage. Teach me, teach me Apex, bro. Wait, hold, hold on. E, where am I supposed to go? Are you making me rage by where I have to go? Is that what you're doing? All right, I'm gonna do something a little, a little, a little crazy. That just gave me so much anxiety. So much anxiety. Whoa. I've already seen all that stuff. I've seen all of this stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, please. Yes, please. I get it. Oh my gosh, get away from me. Have you ever been in one of those conversations where they just refuse to stop talking? Like, holy crap. That's the only thing, man. Now I'm raging. Lose nothing upon death, but ring breaks. No, that's okay. We'll just, we'll, we'll hang on to that. Okay, woo! I think you had a worse time when you were forced to play Shaolin that one time. No, no, everyone else had a worse time. They were like, literally, Ham, if you don't stop playing Shaolin, I'm going to leave the stream right now. And this is a charity drive. Like, I hope I hope that sets in. And I was like, I know he's terrible. Like, the character is terrible. And then you have those people who play PC. They're like, no, Shaolin's actually really good. I'm like, yeah, but I'm not on PC and neither is my party. So... I get into one of those at least once a day. Wow. All the elder customers. Yes. The game uh, got easier in recent years over the originals only because the original controller were crap and you would accidentally fall off so many cliffs or roll wrong. Oh, yeah. Dude, Dark Souls. Ugh. Not about it. With the old style controllers and then the right bumper would stick. Terrible, terrible feeling. Oh, no, I noticed. I noticed. I Like, I didn't like Shaolin. I was having fun with it about, like, you know, shit-talking Shaolin, shittalkshaolin.com. Um, but at the end of the day, like, I think, whoa! What the f The hell is that? I'm playing on console right now. Come on, these views. Pixie, thank you so much for the host. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, yes. Where do I know that voice from? Pixie, how are you? How's your day? How's your day of, of a complete lack of underwear? Wait, what do I what do I do? E, what do I do? Do I say yes or do I say no? What do I do? This 
Maggie's the exact opposite, by the way, Pixie. She she would die emotionally. She would just wither. Teleports me where? Can I say yes again? So, like, if I come back... Oh, I can always go back to him. Okay. That's not what your teeth look like? freed from duty wow thank you i just can you guys can you guys hear his teeth clack here i want you to listen to this i'm going to turn this up max volume right now have you ever been out on a date and the person across from you is chowing down on the most disgusting meal you've ever known and refuses to close their mouth at the same time as they're chewing. <laughs> Listen, I've I've I'm not even kidding you. I have ended dates. Not not even joking. I have ended dates. Um, with a girl once um, because she was chewing with her mouth open while we were out and like refused to stop I was like that's honestly that's just really disgusting I don't think that that's appropriate at all like and so I was like seriously how how do you how do you get into a position where you can pick up like a food a food any food doesn't matter and you get it into your mouth and you bite down on it before your lips close how do you physically do that? Like, you have to think, I have to think about it. I can't naturally do that. How did they get there? And I'm a terrible person, I'm sure, for like, you know, stopping a date with an individual just because they can't chew with their mouth closed. But, you know, I'm a horrible human being. Don't, don't. Don't take any life lessons from me. I'm just, I'm different. I'm built different, you know? I'm built real different. Oh, are they all gonna, they're all spawning in. Oh, great. Oh! Oh! Okay, okay. Okay, Captain Big Man. Okay, Captain Big Man. Oh! Wow, that was much easier than I expected. I mean, having the weapon that I do probably helps a little bit. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Dan. Hello, how are you? Welcome back to the vault. Good to see you. How you doing? How's everything going? How you hanging? Which, you know, memes aside, I I, uh, I found it funny that you said it that way just because that we used to have that as like an audio trigger um, when people would say old friend. So like, I just got a kick out of it. Thank you. Thank you for the laugh. I appreciate it. It was very helpful. Uh, I was expecting a mini epic boss battle. Oh yeah, right? Right, Jacob? Like, you know, you walk around the corner and you see this thing and like, boom, it's dead. I just, I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to go. Did I go down through Blight Town? Or go through the bottom thing in order to get to Blight Town? Or did I go a different way? No, they, they are. Prop, they're hard. They're freaking hard, dude. It's like absolutely, it's wild. Like I came in here and everyone was like, you just need to get good. And like, they stabbed me once and I'm still trying to figure out that parry technique. Like they are something else. I don't know. Prop, it's 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 hard, but you just have to have patience. Maybe use the weird tea thing and teleport. I don't want to use the weird tea thing and teleport. I just don't know where to go. I need someone who's got like some experience with the game who can at least like give me a little bit of like a uh, well just maybe you should just try heading this way. Because after I killed the spider queen, I don't know what to do. There's like seven different ways I can go, and all of them feel way too tough. 
Like that giant set of two serpent shield guys blocking that major doorway. Like, I couldn't even handle one of them, let alone two. And that's the first thing that I run into. I don't know. And I so I can't go down to the... There's that giant door that's in the garden. And the Hydra feels like it would be too tough. The giant magma guy was way too tough. He one-shot me. Uh, I need a way to farm souls without a glitch to get to 999. I don't know. I have no idea how to do that. I don't even know how the best way to farm is. The The easiest way to start that I found, um, which I believe Spider had helped us out with, if I recall, Spider said you can go to the bridge and then walk up to the top of the bridge and then immediately walk back down and you get like 400-ish a tick for the, the dragon, just constantly blowing fire onto him. It was a relatively easy way for me to get from 18 to about 23, which is just what I needed in order to tackle the gargoyles, the, the gargoyle twins, as it were. Um, Dan, how's, uh, how's everything going? How's your day? How's everything happening? With the amount of one-shotting shot enemies, good luck. Yeah, I know, right? Like, that's what I feel like I'm struggling with. So, I can go... I don't feel like I went down. Did I go down through the graveyard to get to Blight Town? Or did I go another way? No, I went through the butcher place and then the giant rat. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So like, let's go down through the graveyard and see what happens over there. We're just gonna see. We're gonna go down through there and we're gonna continue through the graveyard, continue on through graveyard and see what where that ends up taking us. Because that might be a really bad idea, might be a good idea, I don't know. But we're going to head that direction. And just test it. But I feel like, I feel like these skeletons are, they're decent right now, you know? Like, I feel, I feel confident about the skeletons. Not fantastic, but confident. And so I feel like heading here might be, might be an okay idea. Just okay, though. Not, not great. Oh, Shep. Wait, did I did I dodge out of that? The explosion? Oh my gosh, did I dodge the explosion? Holy crap. Thank you for the good luck wishes, but uh give me one second, but I will ring that bell. I'm not going hollow this time. Nice. Nice. I hope you get it. I hope you get it without any any problems, any hesitations, any issues. I hope you get it nice and simple. Okay, there's one. There's two. And then in we go on to the next little set. And there was, I think... I think there was a spot for the fire down here, if I recall. Yeah, nice. So I'll just, I'll I'll do this and then I'll go back upstairs. I already went hollow three times. Gotcha. This is my fourth time to play the game, but I'm committed. Yeah, this is my like first first. So, whoa, whoa, wait. You said it is your first playthrough as well. You mean like your fourth attempt at trying to play the game and then like continuing to push on no matter what? Where do you feel like you'd stopped previously? Frank Ocean and Hot Dog Water are the same name if you think about it. Yeah, they are. They are. Yeah, absolutely. I, I totally agree. Absolutely. 100%. A sticker for trying. How are you? Welcome back to the vault. Great to see you, you fantastic Humi. Pixie was just in here, Um, which Pixie, um, if you are still out there, I don't know if you are or not. You know, I don't know if you're working or, or whatnot, but um, I had uh, a sticker for trying. Give me a little professional insight on uh, the thing that I did for you in order to see whether or not he thought it was good because, like, he's kind of an audio guy. No, he's definitely an audio He's an audio guy. And, uh, I, you know, I wanted some more some more ideas on on how I felt about it, you know, like, whether or not it felt good. And so, um, you know, I had shared it with him, and I was like, bro, what do you think? Help me out. And he was like, yeah, fam. And I was like, all right, lit, woke, hype, lol. That's pretty much how the conversation went down, like, 100%. Ow! You whirlwind cuck! How's Dark Souls? I'm good, dude. Just nervous about Tuesday. Wait, what's happening Tuesday? Fill me in. Yes, I consider this my first real play playthrough. I gave up at Taurus Demon once and twice on Capra. 
Capra, Capra Demon? Capra Demon. Which one was the Capra Demon? Oh, Capra Demon was the first boss, right? That's right, right? I think that's right. I'm pretty sure that's right. I have a pretty big interview somewhere. Fantastic. I hope you I hope you land it, dude. I hope you absolutely crush your interview. I'm excited for you. Which um, you know, we had been also kind of talking for anyone who's missed the start of the day. We had kind of been talking about streamer related uh, you know, drama and how Twitch is handling uh problems with bans um and things like that, you know, in relation to uh Twitch. Um what they can do to improve the quality of of their interactions and the consistency of their uh, their decisions in Twitch. Um, if anyone has any any personal insight that they would like to share, always uh, always open to to more ideas. How they should continue to hold a standard and what what they should do to share that with people. A Lucerne that looks like a Warhammer. Sounds like it's right up my alley. Excuse me, hello? Will you come over here, please? Yeah, that was, that was solid. Nine out of ten on form. I'll take it. That was good. That was good. That was good. That was a good attack. Good lunge. It's a little, like, uh, the helicopter swirl. Oh, yeah, dude. Foxpox, in hindsight, like, how are you feeling today about that? I mean, like, it's it, it, it can't be good, but, like, how, how do you feel today about it? Uh, wish me luck in finding a job. The one I had in front of me kind of fell through, so back to the hunt. I'm sorry to hear about it. Capra's the fourth boss with the two dogs in the potato ship-sized arena? The two dogs. Oh! I know what place you're talking about. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, got it. I'm all, I, I got it. I follow. That was, that was not that bad. Um, once I got the, the idea that I have to run up the steps and then just cheese him. So I just ran up the steps and then I would drop down and wait for him to run up and then him drop down and then I would stab him once and then run back up the steps and just repeat it again. And the dogs are so fast that they got up to the steps to me as quickly as possible. I just kind of gave him the double slice, the double whack, whacked him off and then um, started doing this like, like stair rotation and it, it made it pretty simple. And I'm not saying that it's a simple fight. I mean, obviously it's Dark Souls no matter what, right? But like, you know, it wasn't terrible. Oh, that's bad. I knew the moment that I got set on fire that I was screwed. Still happy that I made the decision with my two weeks at my last job. I would agree. I, I think that that's a good thing for you. I mean, if it's anything that's bad for your mental health, I, I say you, you should try to find an alternate solution. And I would say that to anyone. Um... Like, long-term, if you have something that's debilitating or diminutive to your, your personal health, you should definitely find an alternate career path. 69420, best number ever. Find me a better number, I dare you. All right, let me, uh, let me get back up there. Oh, come on, you jerk. Four. That's a good number, too. Did I get him? Oh, I got him. I got him. All right. So I'm back up to full health without having to use the Estus Flask because of that ring that heals me every time I get a kill. So that's a good start. Did I get him? Oh, nice. I got him. Nice. All right. So this is going relatively smooth through here. Um, what weapon is that? It goes crazy. I'm using a plus three battle axe right now. This is called the Kuchi Katana. It's not called the Kuchi Katana. That's what I call it. It's it's my Kuchi sword. Um, but it is the Uchi Katana. Um, the Uchi, Uchi Katana. And that is a plus eight right now. 
But I call it the Coochie Katana. For obvious reasons. Because I'm I'm an immature immature game streamer. Yeah, the Coochie Katana, absolutely. So you have a battle axe plus three. Have you gotten any of the axes from like the dragons or anything like that? You know, like the gargoyles, the gargoyle twins? Everybody loves the Gargoyle Twins. That's your first roll test is can you handle the Gargoyle Twins? You're off to a good start. Oh, come on. Yeah, come on up here. Come on up here. Okay, so now I've got to go kill that lamplight, dude. And then those guys won't respawn anymore. Hello? Hello? Is anyone here? Just some crips? You got it. Ah! Popped out of nowhere, jerk. Looks like uh, we have some things in common. I'm just not a streamer. Well, hey, listen, whether you're a streamer or a viewer or a person or a cat or a helicopter or whatever the hell you are, we love having you here regardless. We, we just love people for being people. You know, that's like our whole thing. You never know what you're going to run into and you never know where your friends are. You never know who you're going to meet. Like, why? Why get crazy about it? You don't have to have. Wow, toxic. You toxic sarcophagi. You absolute chode. As I was saying, you don't have to have everything in common to like a person or to be friends with a person. Just have good times together, you know? Have a laugh. You have tons of friends who disagree on, on, on things throughout their life, and that's okay. Like, you're bound... I am so sick of these, like, sarcophagi nonsenses. All right, where do I have to go to find this guy? Because I know there's one around here. Excuse me, hello, sir? Hello, sir? Hello, sir? Are you in here? Are you in here? Where are you? Oh my gosh, I have to find the guy. I have to find the guy who's does, who does the casting that keeps people alive constantly. I can't get away, like I need to go. Bro, they comboed my dick off. They, they just, they don't straight up ravage my coochie katana. The catacombs are honestly the worst, just to fight a disappointment. Uh oh. Oh, I don't know anything about a disappointment or what I'm fighting or how I'm getting there or who I'm uh, who I'm gonna debilitate with my sword. I don't know anything about that yet. I'm just in the pro. Oh! I'm just in the process of getting down to the bottom of these cliffside caverns of death. Confounded people in their helicopter whirlwind attacks. Can't you just like come at me like normal, bro? Like tase me, bro. Come on, just tase me, just be real. Have a real relationship with me. Talk to me like a person, that's all I want. Yeah, do that thing. Look at that, look how easy that was. And then I just walk up and then I just stab things, like problem solved. Come on down. Wait, is this guy coming around the corner? No, 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 he's just moving a little, okay. Yeah, some people do this part uh, super early and just ignore the skellies. Well, yeah, yeah, so like, I think that I think that that's pretty necessary to ignore the skeletons up to the point where you can just kill the casters, um, because otherwise you're just gonna constantly have them respawning in. There's no point 
Um, and, and even if you die and you kill one, then no big deal, right? Because then the guy's dead permanently. So like you can yeet yourself off a cliff with the intent to try and kill the guy, the, the respawners and then no big issues. Like, whatever it takes, right? Like, that, I think that the strat is sound. Oh, ship! I think that the strat is sound. Falling down a hole is not sound. I don't know how I fell down that hole. If I'm just being completely honest, I thought I was on the ledge, but apparently I was not. So that's fine. So um, if you don't mind me asking, Prop, after you finish the first one, are you thinking about going to some of the other Dark Souls games? Like maybe Bloodborne, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, um, you know, Sekiro, you know, the FromSoft, um, the other games, the other titles from that company, the developer. Are you thinking about getting into those or no? Just wondering, you know, you don't have to answer if you don't, don't feel obligated. Um, I thought the, the depths were bad with their basilisk frogs that spit gas at you and the living pieces of literal shit that eat your face. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Story of my life, dude. Story of my life. Yeah, I, I, I think, I think getting out of the depths and then towards that section of uh, Blight Town, it wasn't, it wasn't terrible, but it's definitely not one of my more favorite parts. Um, the butchers weren't bad. I expected them to be harder. Um, they're just so slow, and I wish like all the bosses acted like that because that was great. And then the boss at the end wasn't bad either. Like, I felt like I got the hang of that relatively quickly. The spider wasn't bad from Blight Town. That, the, it was, it was a little, um, there was a little bit of anxiety there, the first fight. So it took me two attempts for the spider. It took me like four or five for the Gargle Twins. But, um, it took me two attempts for the spider. And the first time that I went through that, I was like, oh, this is rough. I don't know how I'm going to pull this off. Like, this is rough. And uh, the second time I went in, I, I had talked about the strategy. I was like, okay, so I have to do this. I have to do that in order to succeed. Like, that's the only way I'm going to win this fight. And I went in and executed it, and I won. So, like, I was really thrilled about that. So, I don't know. Can't complain there. Um, isn't Fallout made by Th Bethesda? Yes. Uh, I don't have DS2 or DS3, but I have Bloodborne. Um, so, after DS, I might go to Bloodborne. Wait, did I say... Did I say Fallout? Did I say Fallout? I said... Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 3, Bloodborne, and Sekiro from FromSoft. Did I say that? I thought that's what I said. If I said Fallout, that is not what I meant. I apologize. I wonder if I could just, like, drop down, like, roll off the cliff onto that ledge down there, like, onto that stairwell, and then walk up in there. Bro, is that a thing? Is that a hidden strat? All right, so I know that there's one of those casters right over there, right? Like right there, I can see them. I'm gonna jump this. You bastard, I'm coming right for you. You've been keeping skeletons alive. Oh, that's not, that's not, I lied. What do you want from me? What do you want, John the Slayer? What? No. Oh, I didn't even see his... 
I didn't even see his response. I apologize. No, it's definitely made by different people, Jacob. It's for sure made by different people. Um, I don't have any other of the Souls, uh, Soulsborne games besides Bloodborne and DS1. It's it's Patches? Wait, I don't know who Patches is. Who's Patches? I love the echo. Well, I am one step lower, so maybe that puts me, like, where the, like, the guy is that I need to kill. So that that way when I come back down, I don't have to worry about it. I hope. Hello? Oh my gosh. Just far to the right, far to the right, far to the right. Rude much? Oh my gosh, that's moving? Oh, that's moving. I thought those were like rocks built into the walls. That's moving. That's moving. We're just going to leave. It's fine. It's fine. We don't want anything to do with pill bugs or any of that nonsense. It's fine. It's fine. I don't know where the uh, the summoner guy is. So I guess I'm just going to run down there and go into that one little section and then go across the bridge to the boss because I don't know what else to do. It's fine. It's fine. What? Where'd he go? Ah, there he is. So go back up. Um, I this is my first playthrough. I'm not familiar with the lore. I know nothing about it. This is my first run. I have never I've never messed with it. I'm just going to try and run like most of the way past all these guys. Woo! I just want to know where this bastard, he's probably down there, isn't he? Oh my Shep, what, what? Anyone want to hold my hand? <laughs> he didn't even say goodbye. Well, I mean, it is kind of late for him. I mean, I know it's late for you, too. Don't get me wrong. Like, I know it's late for both of you guys, but, like... He's probably like, well, I want to play something before I ultimately have to go to bed. All right, I've got to kill these guys to regen my health. I'm wondering if I can even make it across that bridge before it rotates. That feels really quick. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm done with you two again. I'm, I'm running. I'm, I don't care. I'm running. You're on your own. You're on your own, fam. Oh, 
All right. So how how am I supposed to do I go down that ledge and then down into the other one? How does that make any sense? Speed run it. Can't wait for O and S. I'm in love with those two. I don't know what that is. Rip 4K souls. No big deal. No big deal. Excuse me. I'm just going to push this in. Since you don't care anymore, Patches or whatever your name is. Patches! Patches! More like patch less. Nerd. All right, I'm going to run it. I'm going to run it. Wait, there's an echo? What do you mean there's an echo? Like in the stream? All right, I need to find out if these guys are respawning. I think they are. Yep, they are. Where is this dude? I gotta figure out where this summoner is. This necromancer. No, 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 you chicken finger! Ugh. When you heard, or when you yelled patches, I heard a little echo. So then that would be the stream, because that's me yelling, not the game. Man, I just got cooked by this chicken finger prince. I got cooked thick. I just like sizzled for hours and hours and hours. I'm overbaked, overdone. I don't know how to get through. There's no sauce, no breading. It's just like stale, worthless chicken fingers. I feel terrible. It's not even like a horrible sauce, like sweet chili lime or something. It's just, just terrible. Just like, just like breast, just straight breast, nothing else. I'm a terrible dish. Oh, eat my ass. <laughs> whatever, whatever kids yell these days. How did you end up behind me? You wildin'. I mean, hey, you can yell whatever you want. You know, as long as it's not as long as it's not bad. As long as it's not hurtful. Like you you yell whatever you want out here. However you play games and enjoy them, it's all up to you. You do your thing. Hello? Can you come out here so I can kill you for the easy XP or the uh HP? Thank you, I just wanted some extra HP. I gotta find this summoner, this necromancer. He's causing me so many issues. Um, after I beat Gaping Dragon, um, after she killed me seven times, I, I yelled, eat my balls. <laughs> that sounds about right, yeah, yeah. I don't think you're supposed to yell anything different, to be honest. If I just, you know, had to throw out a guess. Ow, ow, ow. Really? You ruined my entire point farm just now. My whole point farm. Like, everything that I was doing to get to this point. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on over. Come on over, bro hams. Okay, so that guy's definitely dead. I wonder if I can kite up all the skellies up here and then just kill them so that that way I can continue downward. I wonder if they go that far. Maybe I can like strat this out a little. All right, you need to come up. And then come to the bridge. Can I make it? 
Are you gonna come out? Wait, are you coming? Hello? Corporal Skeleton? There, there we go. Yeah, yeah, there, there you go. There you go. There you go. Now you're doing it. Now you're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it together. We're doing it together. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. That way when I kill you, you're dead forever. Oh, shit! I got it. I got it. Oh! Oh! <sighs> Toxic. That poor Torch Hollow uh, and that rat on the way uh, there died so many times, though. I'm going to farm rats for humanity. Oh, yeah. I heard someone say that. Wait, is it like, is it a really low drop rate or it, 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 can you get more the more humanity you have? Like, is the humanity thing, like, does that affect it as well? Because I know some people said that, like, the more humanity you have, then the, the greater the drop rate. And I was like, yeah, but like, what, at what rate can you farm them? You know, is it worth it? Like, is it worth just farming so that way you can kind of increase some of your your item drop rate and then farm some stuff up and then come back later? You know, like, whatever. I don't know. I mean, I can always go back and farm rats, right? I posted two videos on TikTok about a thunderstorm, a literal thunderstorm with lightning bolts and stuff, and they both got taken down for some kind of endangerment. Well, yeah, because you're taking videos inside of a thunderstorm, right? Like, that's that's unsafe. That's prob That's probably what it was. Even if you weren't inside the thunderstorm, someone's going to say that you put yourself in danger. That's like, uh, what is it? Storm chasers. Same concept. Okay, so... I wonder if I go out on this ledge and then, like, drop down to this and then drop down here. Are they down here? Hello? Summoner of death? Okay, well, I got a great scythe, but this is not where the summoner is. Where the hell is the summoner from this? Or the necromancer? I don't even know whatever, whatever they're called. I don't... I know that the area is large, but... Like, this is absurd. They're not in this room. And also, how am I supposed to get down that, like, lower pillar thing? Are they down here? I don't know if I've been down here. Have I been down here? Hello? Oh, I have been down here. That's the entrance back into where I came from. They've got to be somewhere in this region. I love storm chasers. Well, see, there you go. I mean, like, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing as long as you're staying safe about it. Cast spook. Wait, is that is that like a real thing? I genuinely don't know if that's a, is that a thing? Is that like a spell? I don't know what that is. What class did you pick, by the way? I picked like a wanderer, I guess. Um, everyone suggested for a first time playthrough, like that would definitely be a smart thing to do. It's a DS3 thing? Oh. Does it, like, showcase where enemies are or something like that? What's the ability do? Or what's the spell do?
I gotta go. I gotta go. I can't waste time. I can't waste time. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, no. Where are you? Where are you, you necromancer asshole? Oh my gosh, I'm running into my death. I'm running into my death. I'm running into my death. You're still not dead. Oh, hello, 2020, welcome back. 2020, I cannot find this last necromancer. What the, oh, that's just a regular skelly, okay. Are they dead dead? Are you guys dead? Nope, you're going back together. I have no idea where it is. I have no idea where this thing is. And there's skellies on me. Just go, just go, just go, just go, just go. Just go. Okay, I've got to go in here because I think I have to go down. The floor crumbles. Why does the floor crumble? Oh my gosh, I have to find this necromancer. Why is this so hard? I found him. Roll, roll, roll. Come here, come here. You bastard. Come here. Come over here. Oh, come on, dude. You freaking wall hackers. Bro, bro, you would expect a floor to crumble in a place called the catacomb. <laughs> Listen, you trying to be obvious? <laughs> you trying to do things that make sense? Come on, what are you talking about? All right, we're gonna rest, reverse and kindle. Cause I need that 10 spot, you know what I mean? I need that 10 spot. I also need some more coffee. I might go up and grab some. Um, that was unlucky. No, that was just, that was me being bad. That was not unluckiness. That was a lack of skill. I don't leave much to luck because I don't have any. So they were like, that just proves my point. I'm like, no, it's I'm just that bad. All right. I need to go kill the two guys up at the top here real fast. Because that's the only way I'm going to get through this. Oh, I can backstab them? Oh.
Ow, ow, ow! Please! I mean, I know I'm about to just... Do the thing with the stuff, so... Wow, alright, I'm just- if I don't die in the process... Excuse me while I die to two random skeletons that I've never had an issue with before. Yes, please repair. Yes, please repair. Please repair. Sure, let's repair those two. Yeah, no, I know. I know. I, I've had a weapon break before and still fought on with it. Still cracked on with it. But it's it gets bad. Like, real bad. If I got one more, I would be two-shotting these skellies, which would help a lot as well. Every once in a while, I'm getting a two-shot, but it's not consistent. I need to get, like, a two-shot all the time on these things. Otherwise, I feel like I'm just going to run into problems. See, it's, like, almost... It's almost right at the mark where it would be three... Or, uh, two-shot. Alright, so those guys are dead. Walk back up here. What? Stop... Stop rolling. I'm trying to kill you. Just let me. How much dex do I need for the the Kuchi Katana? Uh, 14. Just 14, that's it. So it's it's a really easy weapon to get. And I, what I'm supposed to do, I guess, is because I am a dex build. I'm trying to find a weapon that I, I guess does bleed, but I, I don't think I've found one. Someone had suggested that I need to, um, I need to uh, expend the time and find a, um, find a I, Iota, Iota, something like that. There was like a second sword that's like the Kuchi Katana. And um, I need to also find a weapon that 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 does bleed, and then I I do the bleed, and then I go from there, or come back, or something. Oh my gosh! It's a care raid. It's a care raid, dwellers. Get down! Get down! It's a whole ass raid. Get down! Welcome, amazing pancakes. Hello, how are you? How are the streets of Tarkov today? How was how was your day? Welcome everyone. Happy to have you guys here. Happy to have the community here. Thank you so much for sharing. Can we get a shout out for uh, amazing pancakes? If we could, please, that would be wonderful. If we have any, if we have any mods that are here. That would be amazingly, fantastically awesome. But how are the streets of Tarkov? Welcome, everyone. My name's Hammer, if you're unfamiliar with me. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. You can common, commonly see me playing a, a crazy absurd number of games, from this to Apex to everything. Um, we've been on a tour through Dark Souls. as my first attempt through the, the series and the generation of, of uh, Dark Souls and and from soft stuff. Um, I had previously played Demon Souls, but um, I just finished fighting the spider boss and I have no clue where to go. That's kind of where we are right now. Uh, Dilla, how are you? Welcome. Dilla, I was just talking about you the other night and how terrible I felt in doing uh, Apex and luring you into Apex games that ultimately would be very detrimental to your health. I felt really bad about it. All right, so I have to go down here, and then, like, I go off to the room on the left, and then that brings me down the tunnel. Oh, wait, that's not what I wanted to do. That's not... Oh, wait, yeah, that's right, that's right. I go to, I go in here, and then I come down, and then I cross the bridge. And then I have to go around the outside, the edge by the exploding skulls. I really need to kill this necromancer. Okay, got him. Okay, I'm just gonna run. Sorry, buddy, you're on your own. If you wanna fight, you can fight, but I'm not fighting right now. You're you're on your own. Ow, ow, ow! All right, continue on. Go down this edge, over here. 
around the corner to the right. And then into the den. I need to see if I have any firebombs is what I need to do. Do I have any firebombs? I have black firebombs. Oh, shit! Just get to it, get to it, get to it! Where is it? Woo! Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, so I want to use the black firebombs over on those guys. Run, boy, run. I'm used to it. It's nothing new with Apex. Dude, it's so bad. Um, it was painful, man. Time to relax. BBQ, drink, and some some fights. Wait, fights? What kind of fights are you? Are you, like, watching, like, uh, like UFC or boxing or something like that? Is that what you mean? Which, again, thank you again for sharing your beautiful community here with us. I appreciate that. Um, did you, I did ring the two bells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the The... That's what we were kind of talking about a little bit before. Um, it wasn't it wasn't bad. It was just really learning the timing of uh, Shelob, the spider boss. Q-Log, Q-Lag, lag me out, daddy. Oh my gosh, really? Like, get wrecked, you nerds. How did that not hit him? I don't care. I don't care. I killed it. I killed it. I don't care. I killed the necromancer. You absolute ass. McGregor versus uh, is that Poirier? 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 I hope I did that. I hope I said that right. And I hope this is the right Necromancer, the one that was causing me all the problems. Because if that's the case, then I just don't have to worry about Skelly respawns, and then I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be just fine. I mean, well, dang. Hey, Dark Dream. Hello. Wait, did I miss, did I miss you coming in? Oh. Dark Dream. I'm sorry. With all the raid stuff, all happened at the exact same time. Um, how are you doing? Welcome. Happy to have you. How's it going? I apologize that I missed the message. Very sorry. You know I would never. How do I... Right. Stop. 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 Stop doing this to me. I'm just trying to have a good time. You know? I'm just trying to have a good time. Fighting my way through literally minions of... Minions of minions of darkness. Wait, where? Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, got it, I got it, I got it. And then, yep. The Tumbling Sumler. Done. By the way, the boss, her is the hard pinwheel. Wait, with the one that I'm going to? Is that what you mean? Is this who I'm supposed to face next? Because I've been having trouble figuring out where I'm supposed to go. I know I'm just messing with you. Well, hey, Dream, again, always happy to have you here. Wait, Dream, have you played through these games yet? Have you done them? I feel like they would be up your alley. You know, just with what you've played previously between the D&D &D games and then, um, and then, you know, Assassin's Creed and all that. I feel like they would be right up your alley. Homeward Bone? Wait, why do I want to bone myself? Why do I want to do that? Like, I just, I'm getting down here. Wait, what?
Okay, those guys dead. Alright, so now it's the ultimate test. Can I kill a person here, and do they stay alive? Oh, they're dead! Alright, now we're in- now we're in good territory right now. Come on, I dare you to spawn. Okay, those guys are dead. Oh, look, they dropped the thing. Can I have your thing? Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh! So I've never watched like any of the UFC fights outside of like one or two. Um, just while we're on the topic, do we have other people who are like really, really interested in UFC? Anyone else that's here besides Dilla, who's watching it, I guess, tonight? Uh, do this first. And Orlando is your certified. Congrats, you're halfway done. Wow. Okay. After that, it's on, or on Orlando. And Orlando, however you say that. Um, but you can go to a snake place. That seems That seems really short. Like, if I'm already almost there, I feel like that's way shorter than you, like, people make it out to be. Like, people make it out to be, like, a ridiculously long game. And I don't feel like that's 100% accurate if that's the case. Wait, I have to go through here and then off to the left and then down into this tunnel and then we go to the right, which is fine. And now we can kill stuff. So I'm feeling better already. Oh no, there is someone still alive. Oh, I've got to run. I've got to run. There's another summoner here somewhere. Okay, so they're... Oh, I've never had to deal with that before. Oh my gosh, I might die here. Okay, so I'm probably going to get the one that was over here, and I won't have to worry about these guys respawning just because I killed the one that was on this side. But there's apparently one back on the other side somewhere, and I don't know where it is. It's probably hidden in that one wall. If I had to guess. Wait, why, why can they attack up and I can't attack down? How does that make any sense? Okay, so yeah, those guys, in fact, are dead. Good. Mostly WWE. Do we have a lot of WWE fans out here? Anyone else out there? Big WWE? Big WWE.com? <laughs> Disregard. I'm wild. Cat bus. Cat bus. Cat bus coming through. Uh oh. What the hell? Big fan of Coffee Kingston. Uh, well, it's, if it's a game, uh, if it's a long game, if you want a 100%, it is a long game if you want a 100%. It's when you don't know where to go. Bone wheel, bone wheel, who's on the bone train to bone town to bone wheel? Who wants the bone wheel? All right. Are you guys, you guys coming? You got, you want to come up? You want to come up? You want to come up? I can make you work exactly how I want you to here. Oh, whoops. Kind of got a little ahead of myself. That's my fault. That's for sure. That one was on me. Just patience. Just need a little patience fighting them. I just had an experience. Uh-oh. Spider, are you okay? 
you want to talk about it? Hello? Not not you, Spider. I'm talking about like the game hello. Cause like this is a little scary right now. I'm just a little I'm just a little tipped off right now. Something's going on. Something's bad news bears. What the ship? What the hell is that? I don't want to deal with the Black Knight right now. I'm not equipped to deal with the Black Knight right now. Better you better climb. You better climb, buddy. Are they coming? Is the Black Knight coming? Like slowly inching his way upwards? How is that fair? How am I supposed How am I supposed to deal with this? How do I fight that? There's no way, like I can't go back down. Get wrecked, nerd! I outsmart you! Big brain! Big brain, big brain! <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Rolly boy can't climb, I love it. Sword Racer, by the way, hello. Happy to have you here. Listen. If your significant other wants you to send an ass pick, you send one, right? I'm all for that, all for it. They want an ass pick, you just fire away. Oh, Shep. Oh my gosh. Run, run, run. I need some territory. I need some, some territory I can work with, not some, not some closed ground BS. <laughs> Nerd. Ah! 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 Not now! Not now! So about that, about, about that, about that, um, I clearly screwed that up, just, so this didn't come through, um, for whatever reason, Spider, we're gonna approve that, I apologize, here you go, here you go, um, she asked to send a picture of it, because, uh, Spider sleeps naked, and I got a bug bite on my ass, and she's a big medical person, so she says, send it. But this is this is a situation. Like, how did it how did it progress into a situation? Um, I'm I'm probably gonna get some more coffee. So I kind of wanted to talk about this just for a second, and then I'm gonna run upstairs. I'm gonna grab coffee. I'm gonna come back down. We're gonna keep on playing. But so if you guys just wanna, you know, I wanna I wanna hear about this because I like this. I like this concept. You know, I'm all for I'm all for pictures to your significant other. I'm sex positive. You know, I'm a sex positive person. I'm always like, hey, you do whatever you guys enjoy. And even if that means not doing that regularly, then that's fine too. I'm, I'm all for it. However you guys enjoy your relationship, whatever you guys have agreed to, do it. Fire it up. Get behind him and stab him in the back. I know I was going to, and then, um, then roly-poly Batman rolled in. Wow, Jacob, they're really annoying. Wow. You sure make the run meme sound a sound on here? Wait, sound a sound. You Oh, are you saying I should make the run meme sound on here? So like, 
I should turn it into a sound button that people can use. That's what you're suggesting. Can you provide an example? Are you in the Discord? Can you provide an example? I think you are, if I recall. Could you send me like a clip or something, like a a, a title, like a like a link or something? Because I don't I don't know specifically which meme one you're talking about. I met my ex by selling toe picks. Well, hey, there you go. There there you go. That's fine. You want to sell toe picks? Go nuts. We're all we're uh, we're sex worker positive too. If people want to do it, that's all on them. There's tons of places you can go to make that happen, and if people want to make that happen, fire it up. Uh, I still remember doing that. Uh, what about the scream one? That should be there. Uh, it should be scream or yell or, um, I don't remember what the trigger is. There's, it's a thing. It's a thing. I don't remember what it is, but it's definitely a thing. So spider fill me in on the rest of the way. Where did it become a problem? I'm sure you're like typing away and you know, obviously you're, you might be on mobile or something like that. And it's taking a while. I know that tends to be the problem when I'm using Twitch, I'm on mobile upstairs, hanging out with my girlfriend or, you know, watching over my cat or, you know, whatever it is. And like, I can't, I can't type to save my life. And it always takes me like 12 hours to respond. And then people have already forgotten about what they were talking about because like, that's me. I do the same thing. People bring up a, a conversation and then 30 seconds later, I'm gone. Like I, my brain went somewhere else. So sometimes I have to focus. <laughs> I can't do anything else. I guess I could like kind of start working my way down, but I really don't want to leave the bonfire in case like I'm in a bad position. I guess I'm going to go up. I'm going to go up and kill like the small little like two skellies right here. And then that way I can repair my, my Kuchi Katana real fast just to make sure I'm 100% on that before I go back down again. At least I know it's a lot easier and I know where I have to run through. So no problems there. Um, repair equipment, the Kuchi Katana. There we go. Repair equipment. Can I do my armor as well? Yeah, let me let me repair my armor while I'm at it. So I'm in the Discord. Now, how do I send it to you? Yeah, you can just DM it, or if you want to, you can put it in Media Dump. Um, that's one of the categories I always tell people, like, if you just want overflow or you want to share pretty much anything that's media-related, as long as it's, you know, it's not degrade... Uh, degrading or anything like that derogatory then we're, we're good it's, it's fine i mean if it's bad i'll delete it basically um wow i've already lost two durability just from that alone uh all right so let's repair this stuff just to be 100 percent sure but yeah feel free post it up there in media dump and then we're good um i'm gonna run upstairs while i am waiting for spider to type out the rest of the story i'm gonna grab some coffee i'm gonna be right back down so please feel free hang out enjoy yourself and we'll be back in just a second thank you
I bet you think you're real clever coming up with that move, huh? You're real cl real, uh, real clever. All right, sorry, I just got back. Welcome back, everyone. All right, let me uh, let me bring this back up here. And riggedy, riggedy, wrecked on! Should work. I mean, all that stuff still exists. We've never turned any of that stuff off. I don't think it's case sensitive either, but it's possible it is. All right, let's see here. Slice, dice, karate chop ice. There we go. All right, in we go. So we've got to go all the way back down to fight the pinwheels and the BK that's down at the bottom of the pit. Now, I managed to get through most of this stuff in terms of not having to deal with the summoners, but I feel like I'm missing one somewhere and I'm not entirely positive where it is. So if you do know, please feel free to tell me. I would be eager to just get rid of it so I don't have to think about it again. I just, I don't want, I don't, I don't want him around anymore. Or her. It, it's form, it kind of appears like a him, but I'm not positive. And I know, like, this game's only defined to, it looks like, two, two specific classes of. Um, I DM'd you the sound, I didn't see the media dump channel. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um, I apologize if it's a little overloaded for you. Here, let me, uh, let me pull it up here. Um, it should be, it's like in one of our common areas. Um, oh, I like your icon. Someone, um, someone used to be in the community, um, who used to do like fan art for, um, uh, po ponies. Is that right? I think that's right. I can't remember... I can't remember what they called that, but, um, she was really good. She, like, she was, she was good, and she just, she, I think she just kind of quit hanging out because, like, uh, some of her stuff was a little graphic, and, um, not everyone in the community really enjoyed it, and so she, I don't think she felt like she could be represented appropriately, so, you know, the little things. We just, we had to remove a, a lot of adult content, um, in the, you know, in the format away from the server, just in case, you know, safety purposes, things like that. But I'll, I'll look at it. It's Rainbow Dash? Gotcha. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the characters. I just know that she was a really good artist. And she did a lot with it. And she was a big fan. So, you know. Um, did you manage to throw all of your dung pies? I did not, Falsy. Um, I have not gotten to that point within the Dark Souls game genre of gaming. I have I have not achieved dung pile tossing yet. I was finishing up a game. I'm doing okay. Certainly can't complain. Fantastic. That's fantastic. Come on, come on. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, come right over here. That way we can just tackle this problem real fast. Oh, did you just like eat yourself? Yeah, you did. Um. Uh... Pro probably rule 34. I, I don't know. Is that the one where like anything can be turned into something sexual? You know, if you can think it, that kind of a thing. Is that what, is that what that is? My mom's a big fan. Hi, mom. I'm glad you're here. Hopefully you're doing well and having a great day. Oh, we enjoyed our, uh, our green fresh meal. Um, it was fantastic. Um, so we, we had like, it was, uh, B Bavarian chicken, Bavarian chicken romaine or something like that. It was really good. It was a really good salad. 
I just, I loved it. And I'm glad that the recipes that they give you, like, they, they come with it so that that way, like, you can, you could reuse them and find, like, all the ingredients and just go shop for that and then just repeat it, do it again. I love that. Oh, okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, that's basically what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, yeah, she did, she did adult images, that kind of a thing. Um, but she would do it as an artist. You know, she would draw it as an artist. So, like, I respect her talent. It was just not something that was necessarily as appropriate for the Discord. Um, and so we got rid of a lot of that stuff. And so, um, you know, like, I, I, the way that I am, like, if people want to explore that and that's them, like, who they are, that's their personality, that's their business. I don't, like, I don't, I don't care. And if people find friendship through that, like, that's fine. That's not my business. So, like... For a while, we we kind of had it, and then it just kind of went away. There's got to be there's got to be one of those in here. There's got to be a demon or something, or one of those casters, the uh, necromancer summoners inside of that that little hallway tunnel or whatever. There's got to be. I don't see any other way that these creatures can keep on reviving themselves from this tunnel, and like I want to finish it. I wouldn't be surprised, like... I think that there's for sure something going on. That they're there. I wonder if I can, like, knock them over the edge, and then that way, like... Does it kill him forever? I mean, hey, if they're not dead forever, then they're away from me, and I don't have to think about it right now. Uh, yeah, no, 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 and yeah, I listen. If people want to do artwork or anything, I'm cool with it. I just we just didn't have a place for it within the Discord. Um, because of the adult theme of it. And we just, we, we chose because obviously Discord, in order to pursue partnerships and things like that, you can't have that at all. Like, it is not allowed 100%. Like, there's no other option. And so, um, we just, we just started avoiding it. Like, we don't have another choice. Sorry. Wait, how do I do this? Okay, so these guys are just going to respawn. It's got to be here somewhere. Where is it? Where is this person? It's got to be here. Oh! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How do I? Okay, okay, just get out, just get out, just get, get out of this area. Just run. Wait. It might be in here. Hello? Weird necromancer? Hello? I got it! It's dead! Oh! Oh, the pressure is lifted. Oh, I feel so much better. Now all I have to do is just survive and live. Woo! That's it. That's it. Okay. I feel better now. Um... So you've killed, uh, no, 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 I think I've, I think I've killed all of them. 
I think I've killed everything that has has gotten in the way up until this point. Everything that had been, you know, causing me issues. Oh, that's a trap. This is a trap. Who? Tranquil walk of peace. Oh! Oh! Oh, my heart. Oh! Oh, I fell right into that one. Oh, there's a lot. There were a ton. So, um... One, the initial one that I ran into, he started at the actual fire. The second one, as I rounded the corner. The third one at the end of the little thing that I had to pull. Number four, that was across that bridge. Number five, that was the floor below. Number six that I just killed. So six so far, six or seven, give or take. Festive, hey, how are you? Oh my gosh, long time no see. Fun to watch, hello, welcome back as well. Happy to have you guys here. Unstoppable. Festive, how are you? How how are you doing? Yeah, there's like six or seven of those those necromancer summoners that have been keeping the skeletons alive. So I'm, I'm very thrilled. I feel a lot more comfortable now. I mean, every single time I kill one, I'm like, okay, now I don't have to worry about, you know, skellies constantly respawning. I can duke this out. I can make this work. So I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm doing well right now. I'm happy. Oh, uh, there may be one more, I say. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I mean, I feel like there's probably going to consistently be them. I got all the way down to uh, the BK at the bottom of the cliffside, and that's kind of where I've left off. But, um... You know, we've got some archers and things like that that have been around, but nothing major anymore. This is mostly what we have to deal with. So now I can kind of just inch along and work my way through some of these these uh, battle situations, and I'll be okay. Got it. Trigger that explosion. Nice. Okay, I've got one more, I think. One more explosion head. I might be able to just walk right by, though. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, this one's gonna... Who? Okay, I made it out. Lit. So now I just walk around. I just have to stay on that inside edge so I don't, I don't accidentally fall. Ooh, we're getting dark and creepy. Okay, okay. I feel the energy. You guys trying to, trying to vibe it out in the catacombs. Now I feel like I might be able to take down this Titanite demon. Should I do it? Is it worth it? Like, what do I get from it? Is it the same as the other one where I get, like, some demon Titanite shard or whatever? I'm good. Life kind of overwhelmed me because uh, my sister is going to have to move in with us. And my other sister is moving out at the same time. It's pretty chaotic. But we actually got our new dog yesterday, early hours in the morning. That's awesome. Can you, um, I mean, hey, if you're if you're willing to, I would love to see pictures. If you're willing to share with us, I would love that. I always love all of our vault pets. It's always great to see the, the family grow. We actually, Festive Wolfie, we recently got another cat. Wait, wait, what? 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 What?
Where in Sam Fisher's name am I? That is a huge frickin' coffin. Are you kidding me? That's a... That's a coffin? Am I ready for this? I don't feel like I'm ready for this. Why would you guys make me stay? Am I doing the right thing here? Am I about to get myself killed? Like I'm about to like give it so many, so many offers that it's like, we don't like you anymore. And then he just like jumps out and kills me. Your offers are so paltry that you need to die. The sword is good if I want to use it. Well, let's see what it looks like. Holy crap. A 50 strength in order to even wield that? All right, that's just ridiculous, first off. Wait, where is it? Oh, there it is. 24 strength in order to wield it. It's a 10 weight. Oh, but it does have a bleed effect. So wait, is this a strength based? It's considered a great sword. I need like that bleed effect though. Bro. So now I need a 24 strength. It would have been funny if attempted attack. Exactly. This is actually vanilla edition. In remastered, you can offer several at one time. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, Craig, how are you? Um, let me look at this uh, Discord shot here. Um, I'm excited to see some, some, some puppers. Oh... Aspen is so adorable. Those are great colors. Those are really great colors on that dog. Really great colors. Not a problem. Fox Pox, have a great, a great day. Stay safe. Hopefully we get the opportunity to see you again soon. Much love, man. Much love always. Always and every day. Wow. Wow. Okay, I need you to do the electric thing, but like out here somewhat, so that that way I've got control. I would like control. When you get the cheese out and you spray your sauce on their face. 
When you get the queso and you cheese the boss all over the place. When you get the cheese, you find the need to easy win. To make your grin kill the boss. Mm. Get wrecked, nerd. Oh, almost got me. You almost got me. You almost had me, Terry. You almost had me. That was good, Terry. That was good. That was good. That was good. Whoa, Shep. Camera goes bonkers if you lock on to him and try close close range. I did try close range, actually. I killed the other boss in close range. Um, I just, you know, I'm I'm a nerd, so, like, I don't know how to be good at it. I don't know how to, like, kill kill him. So, like, I'm just cheesing him. You know, if I can throw cheddar on his on his throat, then, like, why not, right? On its throat? Its throat. I guess, like, it's almost like a, a faceless, bodiless, scorpionless entity, so that's fine. Oh, oh, and I hope. Yeah, it just blasted in. There you go. There you go. This is so easy. This is so easy. So wait, when did you start playing 1.6? Uh, G Gamer, by the way, hello, how are you? Craig, what are you up to uh, just in 1.6? Like, what, what brought you back to 1.6? Do you play, like, just, like, surf maps? Or, like, what did you do? Because, like, I haven't played 1.6 in ages. And I feel like most of the servers these days are all hackers. You know, like, no one's really playing it anymore. So, like, I don't even know how you find viable servers. Boom! Get wrecked, nerd! Get wrecked, nerd! Whoa! Uh, just felt like it. Fair enough. Fair enough. Action-packed gameplay. Wow. Wow. Toxic, Jacob. Toxic. So toxic. Get wrecked, nerd! Get wrecked, nerd! Oh! 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 I mean, I can dance all day. I can dance all day, buddy. You want to come in for this? You want to come in for this? I'm coming for you. You want to do the samba? I'm ready for it. You want to get a little salsa? I'm ready for it. How about the jive? Because I'm going to get down with you. Yeah, come on. Garbage. Come on. Get your garbage I'm here. right here. I'm right here, buddy. Keep coming. Just slide it in. Slide it in. Oh! 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 He does a thing! He does a thing with the grab and the pincher! He's like a little crab! Oh my gosh, I should have just stayed back there and just shot him with my bow and arrow the entire time. No one warned me. <laughs> How do we add quotes? Uh, you would just... You would just... <laughs> you would just have to tell me and I'll get it added. And you got cocky. Listen, I had fun, Foxbox. I still had fun. And you had fun too. Don't you don't you don't you deny it? I know you were over there cackling. You were cracking it up. That was the perfect time to say, I'm right here, right at the garbage here. Sound effects app. Yeah, right, right. Garbage. Get your garbage here. Slice. Wow, bro. How does it feel? I just I just humiliated by by jabbing my coochie katana right in your coccyx. It literally severed your your entire spinal column there. I'm sorry, buddy. You have a face cuz I'd I'm like sorry. to shit on it. Oh! When you accidentally do the whirlwind attack on your friend's face. Bone spin. Instead of the meat spin, it's just the bone spin.
He's like scheming at me like some kind of pirate. Like he lunges at me like, ha ha, ha ha, avast. Stay back, get good, I know, right? Like I had the perfect opportunity to just passively enjoy that fight, kill the boss and walk on with my life completely intact, souls entirely 100% A-OK. -okay. And instead I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go in for the melee kill. And of course it's like 47 damage a tick that I do. I'm expecting to do like 100 and then maybe one to two shot him. And then he picks me up like I'm some kind of crab off the off the corner, some, some, some kind of garbage little little entity, little, little sand piece of garbage and just, just, just throws me out into the catacombs of existence. He couldn't even sacrifice me to whatever God I made a covenant with five seconds ago and gave squishy eyes to. He just had to be a dick. Treat me horribly. I mean, I did shout insults at him from across the, the room the entire time. So it's kind of on me as well, but you know, he was cheap. He was a cheap, cheap, cheap attack combatant. Can't think. Can't use my brain. I was uh, wanting... I was wanting to get the slide it in, add it into the quotes. Slide it in. Slide. It. Well, I could just make a sound effect button for it. If that's what you would like. We don't have to just add a quote. We'll make like a whole sound effect button. Just slide it in. I just need I just need the little little context. I'll make like a, a 10, 10, 10 different ways, twenty different ways of me saying slide it in, and then anytime someone hits the button, they'll get something fun. Screw sleeping. I'm gonna continue watching. Wow, look at you, Jacob, having a good time. What is this? Here, on my stream? I thought you only watched XQC. I I thought you only liked XQC for entertainment. <laughs> Insulting him maybe made him mad. Yeah, I mean, he literally picked me up like a, like a, like a dung beetle. Like a dung beetle. The, the context is, yes. Oh! Ow, 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 ow. There we go. There we go. Easy mode. Full sweat. Okay, faces. Faces of destruction. Oh! Barely made it out alive on that one. Faces of destruction. I hope you're gonna explode. Wow, you guys all fell apart there. Whoa, whoa, whoa! All right, I got them. Are they? They're dead, dead. There's another face. Can you see me? Can you? Ooh, ooh, that was close. That was for sure, like I almost died. Um, I gotta go, I will play CS Source with a friend. Not a problem, we'll be here. If you wanna stop back, feel free, Craig. Glad to see you here hanging out with us, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Oh, is anyone else excited for the Ascent? The, uh, the, the, uh, the game coming out, it's coming out with uh, Xbox Game Pass? On PC, I believe. It's also going to be available on Steam. A lot of different things, you know. I think it's going to be fun. I'm really excited for it. I really am. I'm very excited for it. Okay, I'm just going to like... Hello? Hello? How? Hello? Ooh. I'm sitting here trying to figure out how that person's not aggroed yet. Okay, we're starting the dance right back up. Just doing this the casual way. Just, you know, hard sweats mode. This is basically how I play Apex. I just, you know, I snipe back in the corner and then laugh at everyone as I kill them. Oh, apparently like I crit him or something. Nice. Uh, I did not, no. Uh, I'm currently trying to uh, attack this Titanite thing. Action pack gameplay 2.0. I mean, listen, you got the result that you wanted. Don't at me. You got exactly what you wanted from this game. Oh!
Just play smart. Play smart. Don't get greedy. Apex is so casual indeed. <laughs> I only wish. I only wish it were that casual. I actually, we were kind of talking about that and how thrilled I was that one of my uh, videos on YouTube has been doing so well. It's almost up to 2,000 views. And like, honestly, like I almost cried a little bit last night because I was just so thrilled that like people were that interested in the video. And like, finally, I have a video that's like, you know, kind of doing well. I was just really excited, you know. Oh, I will at you. Do it. I dare you. I dare you. See what happens. I bet you're an Octane main. Has anyone played Enlisted? Uh, I was playing co-op on Division 2, and I was taunting a Juggernaut. Ooh, that's dangerous. I never finished Division 2. Like, I really, really enjoyed Division 1, and the whole, like, you know... Uh, dark zone and all that and then farming for that stuff and like how they had this like pvp pve element to it and i had a lot of fun with that game but it just unfortunately just really kind of died on me quickly and it was sad you know like it was really it was really sad because like i wanted that game to be like absolutely fantastic and really kind of grow on me but it was not the shoot and loot that i expected i guess i just wanted more from it i don't know call me crazy What are you going to do now? Um, laugh, I guess. Ha 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 ha. Did it, did that work? Is that what you, is that what you wanted? Um, but no, I have not reached the boss yet. Um, I'm working on my way back down so that that way I can get to the BK uh, and get the loot from it. But I'm kind of cheesing this guy right here. Um, just a little bit because like I got into this point to the point where he was about to die or sorry it was about to die and then of course I made just a terrible decision decided to run in there in melee and uh, that got me killed so um, I just I wasn't prepared for the fight and I'm not I don't really do well in small tunnels you know trying to figure out how this game works I don't even know it yet so like me trying to do small fights is not a, a good idea how is uh how is your rat farm are you doing the rat farm right now uh, prop Last one. Boom. Done. Demon Titanite. Fantastic. Demon Titanite. So now we go back over here. We should have the two skellies that are like right over here somewhere. I really need a, uh, I really need a campfire. That's what I need. Uh, didn't even think about it. Just silence Bruno and keep going. Wait, is that the, is that the name of the... The guy that I just killed? My build on Division 2 is either... Is either cleaning house or getting the shit kicked out of it. Oh, yeah. I feel like that was a lot of Division. It was like, there was some absurd meta. And if you didn't run that meta, you were pretty much guaranteed to die. But if you did, like, you were just going to absolutely wreck house. Which I didn't like about um, Division 2. And I think that's one of the reasons why they personally didn't succeed. Personally. Oh, I almost fell down that hole again. Not thinking. Oh, I almost fell down that one too. I forgot about where I am. I've like literally forgotten. Okay, so now I have the pinwheel demons. And the head exploders. Yeah, come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Okay, that guy's pulled. I've got the aggro on that one. Got that. Nice. Perfect. So go back out. Try and find the exploding head. Dear exploding head. You explode on me? Come on, guys. Come on in. Come, what? I, I can see you. Come on in. Come, come here. Just a little bit further. Come here. Uh-oh. I got a pinwheel. Got him. Wow, that that actually hit me. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so our exploding heads are dead. Perfect. So now I need to pull the other pinwheel. Come on, 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 come on. And then we've got that the BK that's back there in the corner. That caused me some problems last time. And honestly, I think I was doing all right against the BK. But the issue that I ran into is that a pinwheel started attacking me while I was trying to fight the BK. Threw me off to the point where I needed a heal, but I couldn't. And I got stun locked, you know, that kind of a thing. And that just, that did it. That did me in. So hopefully I don't put myself into a, a like back myself into a corner or something like that because then I, I can make it work. Bruno is the name of the voice in my head. The voice in my head. Oh, you're referencing a movie. I was like, wait, what? I was so lost. <laughs> Whoa, hello? I hear a blacksmith. Hello? Blacksmith, you there? You there? Hello? Hello? Blacksmith? Okay, so I've got all the pinwheels, I think, in this area right now. Kill Rolly Boy first, yeah. Yeah, no, I know. I, that, that, that's definitely my focus, is trying to attack the Rolly Boys first and aggro all of them to get them dead. I just... Yeah, he showed up again. How the hell is he coming into this? Oh, that's just not fair. Oh, that's just not fair. Woo! 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 Oh! Oh, man. All right, I'm... I really don't like this. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ow, ow, no, no, no! Oh my sh... All right, so I don't know, I have no idea. I have no idea where the BK is coming from. I don't know how it's getting to me. And that's my issue is like, I'm trying to pull the roly poly people and get them over to me so that that way I can fight them and not have to worry about it. But then the BK is just like dropping down. Wow, you're up to 22 humanity. I'm, I'm happy for you. That is really good. You probably have ridiculous drop rates at that point, too. Like, you're just getting more humanity by having more humanity. Compounding interest. Excuse me. My hiccups today. So fierce. Um, Fish, by the way. Hello. Welcome. Happy to have you here. Hey, man. Hope you're doing well. This area sucks. Smeep. I'm having a time. I am 100% having a time. I, I feel good. You know, like, uh, we're, we're cracking on, we're pressing on, but it's, it's noticeable. 
it's it's for sure noticeable. I feel like I could take on the BK if I can just get the BK one by one, like one on one. But I'm definitely having a little bit of a uh, an issue with the um, the roly poly people coming in from out of nowhere, and then I just I I can't handle both. Drop rate caps out at ten percent soft for humanities. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, someone said that I think yesterday. I want to say. But still, having 22 humanity in general just to farm, just in case you have to kindle or do whatever, like, that's that's a great thing. Like, why not? And even if it's, like, diminishing returns in value for drop rate, like, even if you have an abundance of them, like, no idea what to do with them all, then why not pop them, right? Like, why not increase your chances? If it's just gonna help, even if it's not drastic, it'll still help. I know you can do it. The wheel skeletons are awful. They stun lock the daylight out of you. Yeah, that's the issue that I'm running into is, like, I can't get into fighting the BK because random random roly polies are coming out of nowhere. Pinwheels are coming out of nowhere and I can't fight them. Like I can't like I, I've got I've got a strategy for it because all I have to do is just dodge or roll out of the way. And then I can worry about what I have to do in order to combat the thing. Right. And it's not a problem. I've been I've been having an OK time with fighting just the roly polies, but fighting a BK alongside. Mm -mm, that's 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 a whole different territory for me. I'm not I'm not good enough yet in order to try and, you know, work on that. Like I'm I'm still I'm still getting the basics of the game, let alone worrying about the dynamics of of advanced combats. And everyone's like, "Well, that's more like amateur combat." And I'm like, oh, "Okay, well, I'm trying to transition from beginner to amateur, and right now that's where I'm at." <laughs> I'm not good enough. You can kick their butts. Thank you for believing me. I appreciate it. Uh, you can lose soft humanities and humanity areas. Humanities are the extra resource to heal when you're out of Estus. Wait, wait, wait. You could use humanity to heal? It is, it is possible to watch a stream... Uh, stream twitch on mobile if you're talking about streaming yourself you can do that um i think there's only five in that area the bk should be in the back left of the big open area i usually don't aggro him at all your pathing is a, a little different to mine okay so maybe that's the issue it's a full heal okay so this is news to me i've never known that i've always used humanity like while i'm at a a, a bonfire so that's why i probably don't know you know i'm just terrible Gotcha. You mine now. You mine now. That's all right. We got this. We got this. I just have to narrow them down. See, I'm, I'm going like all the way out and the BK is back in the corner, I think. And that's my issue is like, instead of trying to lure the pinwheels from that far, I just need to, I just need to be patient, wait for them to show up and they'll, they'll be there. They'll show up exactly the way that I need them to just take my time. Like if I play a mobile game, you actually can. So um, all the phones now, I wish I could pause. Um, all the phones, uh, Apple and Android, should have the capacity to pull up the phone and then you hit your home screen, um, go to Twitch, and then if you hit the home screen after the page is loaded, you can open up any other app and it should be in a windowed mode. However, if you try and like, like hit back or like hit back multiple times, it won't work. You have to hit home from the actual stream itself. And then it should work perfectly fine. Like, it should have, like, a picture-in-picture -picture mode. Um, it might be a separate feature on the Apple that you have to actually hit, like, a button or, like, some, some sort of, like, select menu or something like that. But I know from Android, all you have to do is hit home and you're, you're good to go. Uh, BK is late in the area below a trap floor that gives in. Uh, oh, so yeah, there's, I think what, like two trap floor areas that are there. And I think I fell down one of them almost once. Like I got real close and then managed to like, just kind of like roll or something. And I didn't get stuck, which was a blessing. Cause I was really worried that that was, was going to happen. You know, like I was just going to lose myself to that little spot. So I'm glad that that did not happen. Come on, little faces of destruction. Are you guys coming out? No, okay, not. Can you guys aggro on me, please? Little faces? Little faces, hello? 
Okay, well, the Skellies got my attention, so I'm just going to wait for them. Actually, I'm just going to corner peek a little bit. That way I can kind of see where they are, how far away they are iPhone doesn't have a home button, but I can pull up recent apps. Yeah, so you might be able to go to uh, Twitch and then go back into the, like, the game that you were playing. I do know that people have talked about it with iPhone. I do not know the procedure. Um, you might have to Google it if I'm just being honest. Um, I've never owned an iPhone. I've never been an iPhone user. I've never had any uh, Apple products. Um, just because I'm not big on their business model of uh, planned obsolescence and things like that. Uh, I think that's terrible for consumers. It's definitely not friendly. And it's not it's nothing against like, you know, people who have their products. Listen, I get it. Like, I know that there's a lot of synergy within their application, within their ecosystem. And it makes it really easy for you to stay in touch with your friends and do like FaceTime and group chats and all sorts of stuff. I get it. But I'm not an I iPhone user personally. Um, I think chat does not show up, but the video feed shows up. I wish it, you'd have to go back and forth between both apps, admittedly, but you would at least still be able to see what's going on in the stream. And if something like, you know, you feel like it's a funny moment or like that people are probably responsive about it or, you know, whatever, you'd be able to like click immediately back into the stream and then, you know, type or say something or see what chat's saying and then immediately go back to your other app. So, I mean, there's a couple different ways that you can do it. We have a ton of streamers within this community. I will say that like a ton of streamers. And I'm really thrilled about that because, you know, then it just gives me more opportunities to find more people to go to. Like after we're done for a stream and I'm looking to raid someone or, you know, whatever. We've met a lot of really, really great people just by streaming in general. So I'm just I'm really thrilled that we've had that luxury of having other creators come in here as well. So. Well, I'm glad you watch ours 2020. I'm really oh, almost fell down. So I guess, yeah, there's the BK. That's the room that the BK's in. And apparently I aggroed it. So there's that. So wait, are you personally trying to stream, Sword? So you're like, you're trying to stream, but also like play a game at the same time? Like you yourself? Or you're trying to watch a stream while you play. Because if you're trying to play a game and, and stream, then that won't work. If you're trying to watch a stream while you play, then that'll work. But if you're, if yeah, it's streaming, you would need like, like a tablet or like, you know, a, a laptop or something like that in order to be able to still read chat effectively. Otherwise, it's just gonna be it's gonna be really really hard to pull that off Okay, so this is my second pinwheel in the area. I think there's like seven or eight There's at least another two so that would be four And then there's another three in the back for sure. So that's at least seven. There might be more. Stream yourself? Yeah, then you would you would have to have something else up and running in order to be able to read chat. I apologize. All right, so I'm going to need one flask for this probably. I'm waiting for the other guy to show up. Walked around the corner into a stun lock. Right into a stun lock. Right into it. Uh, do you remember where you got the Kuchi Katana? Absolutely. So the uh, the Kuchi Katana you can get from the merchant who's in um, the first, like, you know, from the bonfire, if you go, like, up the hill into the main town, Blight, not Blight Town, but Death Town. I don't know what the hell it's called. Underhaven. I don't know. I literally, I don't know the name of it. Super town of a mid original tutorial style of Nisness. Captions check passed. Uh, I don't know what that means. The But I hope that works. I hope our captions work. They should be working. I mean, I can see the little like caption thing working. Um, I have my old Galaxy S7. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you could do that. So sword, uh, sword Racer, you could literally have like your main phone that you're playing on. 
um, and then stream that. And then you should be able to like have your secondary device that you should be able to see chat on. That would be one of your best ways to do it. So just keep your phone plugged in or you know whatever phone you want plugged in and then read chat off of your secondary one. Um, but the the in the main town, you go up and there's like the merchant who's, you go up the first stairwell across the small wooden bridge. You take a right to go up that. And then you end up on like a catwalk with an archer who's up on the hill. And there's two pikemen who are over on the right hand side off of like a little, like a parapet almost, or like the top of that little, I don't know, fortress, mini fortress. You take a right to go across the stone bridge, kill the two uh, pikemen. You go down the stairwell and you go straight ahead through the door and turn right. And there's a merchant who's on a carpet, like right there. Um, it should be right there. Oh, you're deaf and you appreciate that you use captions. Oh, well, thank you. Um, we've actually got, through our, our content creation team, we have uh, another uh, deaf streamer. Um, her name is Deaf Girl Gaming, and she does a lot for DBD and a ton of stuff. And I, I know that, like, a long time ago, we actually tried to add uh, captions, and it was a little bit more taxing, like, you know, like two years ago. But um, it's really easy to put them on with OBS. Streamlabs OBS caused more of an issue, but I, I swapped over to OBS a long time ago um, for some of those ease of access features. So we do what we can here. I don't, however, have the rest of the party because sometimes, you know, you get into a game with people in Apex um, or get into a game like custom lobbies or private match lobbies or public lobbies, and someone might say something that's a little bit more detrimental. I do not have those turned on. Um, cause it could be, it could be dangerous. Someone could literally like randomly join the party and then, you know, you've got a whole hot mess waiting to happen. That's the only thing I've never done. Um, I gave my grandchild his Christmas computer some weeks ago, still not the intended GPU. Wait, 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 wait. So like the, the GPU that the computer was supposed to come with, didn't come with the computer. Like you got the wrong product or you were hoping to get a GPU, but you can't because the GPU market's literal ass right now. Uh, I left Twitch when I became deaf. There was no accessibility then, but I'm back now. I believe I found you on P2P. Oh, wonderful! That's fantastic! That's that's so fantastic to hear. Thank you. Um, yeah, so we're, we're, we're a great community of allies and then a ton of representation through a lot of the community itself. Um, you know, I, I've been... I've been talking about, and I kind of discussed this the other day. I'm, you may or may not have been here for it, but I've been um, I've been exploring the the potential or the possibility that I might actually be um, gray sexual. So a lot of people from another community, a trans community, have actually helped me to to kind of get some questions answered and really kind of explore that possibility. Because a lot of my life, I've kind of had like specific questions around why people have this thought and like why people are so. Um, sex necessary um and that i've just never been like that's never been my main driver my main focus and so like you know gray sexual is i would say a subdivision or a subcategory within asexuality and you know we've got a couple of other people who define themselves as asexual within this community and then extended uh community communities who are also asexual and so um you know they, they'd actually originally told me what the trans community originally told me that i should i should apply to be on p2p and um you know, since I'm already like kind of going through that, you know, find find other people or help other people. And I might I might have questions that might uh, help me as well, you know, along the way. So, you know, you share in that in that story together and in that adventure, that journey. So I don't know. Um, you're the first person who said that. I'm cake pancake. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, welcome. You'll always find validation here, always. And if you ever have any problems, and this goes for anyone, if anyone ever has any problems here where someone's creating an issue or they're sending you messages, DMs, just reach out to me. That is not representative of the community. And if we have any level of discrimination or hate here, please reach out to me or Ahmad. We will do whatever we can to make sure it gets taken care of. Not all of our mods are available 100% of the time. And so I just want to say, like, it will get addressed. But just be patient with us, please. It It, it will. I promise. I just dealt with an issue the other day. Someone just reached out to someone privately in DM and said something very, very terrible. They got banned within minutes. Like, I, I don't I don't fuck with that. Like, I don't care who you are. Hate and discrimination, that has no place here. Listen, you can have a cop or uh, a conversation and a topic, a debate, whatever, and if you can do it health like healthy and in a healthy fashion in a respectful manner, like let's talk. We don't want to put ourselves in a position where we're welcoming like really, really terrible conversations, but Respect is is that that's the that's the baseline. That's it. 
That's it. Just respect human beings and, and, and people's representation, how they identify who they are, where they came from, their upbringing, their cultural background, everything. Just, just respect people. That's it. It's that simple. I don't know why we have to have so many people out there who create so many problems, especially streamers as well. Like, you have literal whole communities founded off of degradation of human beings. Like, I don't know how they're still existent. I'm just being honest. Like, that to me is just... It is mind-boggling. Like whole communities who center around like let's go hate raid people haha <laughs> lol like no like they should be banned permanently everywhere social platforms twitch everything online stuff usually doesn't bother me there are some irl harassment things that um i'm getting that takes more precedence on this all well i'm sorry that you have to deal with harassment in general but if you ever need someone to talk to feel free to reach out i'm question is there an app that allows me to play my xbox profile without my xbox being on um Yes, that would be like the Game Pass application. You can essentially stream games through their cloud service and their servers directly to a mobile application. So you can play select games like, let's say, Gears of War. Or um, I've been playing mobily um, the uh, Dark Crystal, like Jim Henson's Dark Crystal games, so that that way I can finish out all the achievements. You can do that streamed as well. I so agree, but it's the streamer moderator's responsibility to keep the chat in place. Yes, but how many people have have found success within the place of hate and so they let it go and then eventually succumb to the environment to the point where they're making poor decisions on their moral integrity in order to find the success that they've longed for and feel good about themselves and find monetary purpose to it like there are a lot of people who make terrible decisions and do terrible things just because they'll see some sort of level of success for it like it's 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 awful it's literally awful. And I think it's partly in society's fault too, because like society teaches us that um, it's a necessity to be famous. It's a necessity to, to be popular and fantastic and for everyone to love you, which is just absolutely not true. Like all things considered. I, I, I've, I've never found, you know, more of a true statement. Yeah, like, listen, there are a lot of people out there that want to be pretty little butterflies. And, and what I mean by that is that they, they want to feel unique and they do things that can be bad so that they do stick out. You need to be you need to be OK with who you are and proud of who you are. But you also still need to think about the concerns and the well-being of other people in the process of doing what you're doing. Like you can be unique, but you shouldn't do it at the cost of someone else. It's also harder for an ND streamer. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's just one? Just one second. Is the other one coming up? Okay. Uh, it's uh, also harder for an ND streamer with this as well. It sometimes uh, absorb personalities from others and slowly not realize that they're be turning toxic. That has happened to me a few times. Neurodivergent. Right, right, right. You're right. Um, uh, for the long run, you're doing the right thing. Well, hey, listen. If if you if you're saying that about me, I really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, really, I do. We, we do everything that we can in order to create an environment where people can feel welcomed, um, represented, and accepted for who they are. Having people hate you is a big part in learning to become a better person. It's knowing that hate is well-founded. If that hate is well-founded or if the hate is coming from bad and that's difficult. Yeah, no, and I would agree with that. Like, how, how do we define that? Because then you're starting to talk about uh, personal dilemmas and personal point of views, opinions. So... As an example, someone was talking about the fact earlier that like someone got canceled for voting for Trump. And listen, we're not going to bring politics into this, right? But like, if you have an opinion that, that that is a bad choice, that's fine. But going out of your way to defeat or deter, or demean, diminish someone, their character, their, their self-health, their being, their essence, their existence, you're now, you're now bringing yourself to the same level by what you're judging them by or to what you're judging them by which is bad so like the, the hypocrisy is real you can't hold a double standard like that and be the janus of culture like you can't it's one thing if you say i just don't believe in what they believe in and that sucks and like you know i don't agree with them and then you say but like they're a human being and i need to recognize that they exist within my space and i need to respect them regardless like, even if their opinion is wrong, it's like the agree to disagree. Like, yeah, I don't I don't agree with that. It's fine that you do, though. 
here's what I think that you should look at just to make sure that you feel like you're well-founded within your beliefs. Here's what I think that you could do to explore the potential of things outside of the realm of your current choice, your current opinion, your current thoughts. There's other options. There's other avenues. And maybe you don't know that. You know, ignorance is not a bad thing. But the choice to live within ignorance because you don't want to look at anything any other way, that's bad. For sure. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm not I'm not trying to turn this into like, you know, a moral dilemma or moral debate. I apologize. Everyone, listen, I love you. We're here to play some games. We're here to have some fun. And if you guys ever want to get serious about it, I'm always open to discussion through Discord. Please feel free. As I discussed, I'm always open to an adult conversation that remains respectful and 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 honest about things. Uh, I, I don't agree that hate is a good thing if it doesn't go too far. Hate is never a good thing. Hate is never a good thing. That is like a strong dislike with the level of, of severe discrimination that no matter what a person can do, they can't come back from that. I do not agree with that. Personally. I, I don't know what your your thought process is around that, but I would definitely need explanation as to why that's a thing. Um, sometimes I wish they would teach in schools with a bit more prominence, at least in the UK, is the idea that being proven wrong is a good thing. Um, so we've talked about this before. And again, some people look to prove prove someone wrong by opinion not fact but by opinion right and that's a dangerous territory because sometimes we get so firmly planted into a belief that we're no longer respecting a person and their opinion because we believe so adamantly in our own and so that's that's a dangerous that's a dangerous line to tread it really is well dislike can build character and, I mean, admittedly, so can hate, as it were. But it's not healthy. Hate is never healthy. Where's the applaud button? Uh, I don't I don't have one. We have a golf clap. We had one for a long time, but... Um, yeah. I think I got rid of it because I pulled it from a movie, and then I didn't want to deal with DMCA nonsense, so I just I just kind of, kind of, I kind of pulled it. Um, if, if that's something that we need to explore, I'll look into something that works. Hey, Pokemon, hello, how are you? Well, for large values of one, it can be three. What, I mean, 1.4 1, 1 plus 1.4 is 2.8, 2.8 is three. So if we're talking just strictly mathematics, then yeah, one, one plus one can be three for large quantities of one. And that can be said of any any integer addition. Like you you can round down. I mean, one point three can still work because then that ends up being what two point six, which is still technically three. What what's the cutoff for that? Like two point four 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 repeating, or sorry, one point four four repeating, or something like that. At that point, you still end up being large enough to be able to round up to to three. Just mathematically, again, mathematically. I mean, little things. Very little things. Okay, I think I pulled those guys. And I don't think I've pulled the, the the BK yet. The Dark Knight. Got you going? Hey, listen. I'm a math major, all right? You started math stuff. <laughs> you, got me, you got me started on a math conversation? You can't do that. Don't do that. That's bad. It's unhealthy. We're back into evil territory now. I can't believe I have this much in the way of souls right now. I don't want to go over there. Please just come over here. Just slowly work your way over here. Just please just, wow. just come on down. Come on down. I'm having fun. I'm glad you're having fun. That's all we ever want to do is allow people to have fun, enjoy themselves, find new friends, find community, find find themselves even sometimes. We've had people come out and chat, which honestly is like you want to talk about an emotional roller coaster, but like it feels good to know that like someone feels so comfortable and so trusting of people that they're around that they can have that conversation. Oh, 
those are moments, man. Like that may that that welled me up for sure. I myself uh, get tired of hate and mean stuff, so so better and show them why they're so wrong. Well, and some people that's that's uh, we were having a conversation about resistance and why some people go out of their way um, when someone tells them no or they can't do it or they won't do it or whatever. Why some people go out of their way to uh, start doing that action um, simply because they want to prove a person wrong. And how dangerous that can be as well. Um, because then your pride is so powerful that you're not willing to, uh, you know, become lesser, as it were. It's it's interesting. It's an interesting topic. Oh my gosh. Come on! Come on, Pinwheel of Doom! Give me your Wheel of Fortune! Dance the salsa with me! There we go. I'm glad I found you. You're so wholesome. Oh, Listen, I try to be. We try to do everything that we can in order to have good character because you only get one chance. Right? You only get one chance. And I just, you know, I just want more friends and more good people that I can share common ground with. I don't care if we're, we're always on the same page. That's not my business. That's not my business. But it's good to have some common ground in some fashion. And sometimes that's just through a game, right? And... Like, as long as we can build up the, the understanding and, and again, the level of respect for people. I am a friend. What? Everyone that comes in here is a friend until they prove otherwise. And usually, unless you're a total freaking chode, you're going to be a friend. Like, people who come in here immediately, like, we've had people who've said, like, the opening line is, like, racial slur, followed by gender-driven hate, followed by something else. And I'm like, get the fuck out of my channel. Like, you have no business being here and no place here ever. I quit animation for like a half a year and then got back into it. Well, hopefully you stick to it, Pokemon. Hopefully you stick to it. Because animation is a really, really good, really, really good place to be. And I think you'll have a lot of fun with it. Where does this... Oh, they come from up there. Oh, they dropped down on me. Oh, that was, that was BS. That was BS all day. No way. I was, I was completely away from that. All right. I've got to get, I've got to get more speed in order to fight them. I've got so much. Uh, oh, you got so much hate back before you deleted Twitch. What else did you get done last night? Uh, last I saw you just defeated Qlog. Smeep, that's it. That's it. Uh, like, I defeated Q-Log. I went up down into, like, the fire pit, and then I found, like, like huge, like, weird tentacle creature with, like, the 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 bed and the, um, the golden armor. I picked that up. I ran back down. I went back up to the town. I said, what the hell do I need to do? Because I have no idea where I need to go. Someone said I should go through the crypts. So I've been working my way down through the crypts, killing all the, um, all the, uh, the necromancers, and I killed the Titanite demon, got into a coffin, found some giant god in a coffin, set a covenant with the, the god, sacrificed four weird demon black orb eye skull things. I don't know what they were. Um, ceaseless discharge, maybe. Um, I, yeah, and so I did that, and then now I'm, I'm pretty much here. I'm crying. Thousands of people showing love and support to puppers is doing me in. Listen, I'm glad that there's someone out there who is getting some attention and, you know, despite some of the conditions that exist within their life, they they might see a glimmer of hope around something positive that gives them happiness. So I'm glad that. Oh, that's very kind of you. Animation is boring until you get an idea. I mean, listen, I'm not a creative person at all. And I like I'm sure people laugh because like here I am sitting as a streamer, but like really Sammy can speak to it like most of the time someone else has to come up with something even remotely close to an idea. And that's when I get an idea It's like piggybacking off of someone else's thing. And I go, yeah, but wait, but what if you did this? And they're like, oh, yeah, actually, that would be good. Like, that's the only time that I find myself successful in the way of content creation. Other than that, I just sit here and, and chat with people and and hope that I can build friendships. 
But I greatly appreciate that you consider us um, good enough to be on your auto host list. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Hopefully, um, hopefully, if you get back into streaming, we can spend some time. I can stop by some time and bring bring all of our uh, all of our beautiful dwellers by to to show some love and spend some time here. Uh, I cannot draw stick figures. I can't either. Magic, we've done that with what is it? Uh, Jackbox games. I think the Jackbox games, and people are like, draw, draw a celebrity. Oh, come on. These you know, games. having a crush on a bike ride or something, and I'm like, are you kidding me? How do you draw a celebrity? And I just draw like a stick figure and everyone's like, oh, they're the alien because they can't draw. And I'm like, I have no artistic talent and I'm being judged on it. What is my life? My life is terrible. <laughs> what have I become? How did I get here? Listen, I think there are a lot of really, really good content creators out there, though, that are very artistically inclined, very thoughtful, very creative, just all around great people. I do not believe that I am one of them. I'm just a good person. That I do know. I know I'm a good person. There are better people out there. Like, there are far better people out there than, than myself. But, like, I know that I've got good moral fiber. That's about it. That's, that's who I am. <laughs> it's just, you know, charity work and moral fiber and... And weird lols about sex jokes. So basically, I'm the exact same as Magic, but, you know, the, the American version. And slightly younger. Mom, please don't. Don't make me cry. Please, just reserve it for yourself. Please, please. You know I've made the conversation about how... How much of an influence you guys have been on my life and how I've gotten to where I am. So thank you for everything that you guys have done between you and dad to get me here, but please don't, I will cry. I don't wanna do that today. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not up for it. <laughs> By the way, that's my mom, guys. Grateful Six is my mom. So if, you know, if, anyone, if anyone ever harasses her, like you in trouble, you in trouble real quick. Uh, I got a job with my mom and now she pays me to help uh, saving up for a drawing pad. Oh, wonderful. That's great. I, I mean, I uh, I started working at a very young age. My parents told me like, hey, if you want to buy your own Nintendo 64 or if you want a 64, you're not getting it from us. You better buy it yourself. And I was like, all right, get me up there. I need a job. I started working when I was 12. I'm not even kidding you. That is 100% a fact. I started working when I was 12 because I wanted a Nintendo 64 so I could buy GoldenEye and could play it with my friends at my house on the couch in the basement and have fun. It's a real thing. I've been gaming a, a very long time. Well, I'm glad you have some creativity fun. Because I don't. I'm not, a, I'm not a creative person. I've done some drawings and some replications and things like that. But most of the time it's been like copies, right? Like I don't think of things on my own. I usually have to go off of someone else's idea in order to get any sort of um, uh, uh, inspiration. That's, that's what I think. I thought I started early and I was 15. Yeah, I, I, I mean, it's not a contest, but I definitely, I started young. For sure. For sure. Creativity is my personality. Oh, well, there you go. Your son is a bit weird, but in a good way. Yeah, well, I didn't get that from my mom. <laughs> I got that from my dad. I mean, I guess I got a little bit of it from my mom. Sometimes my mom has like weird phrases or things like that that she says. My dad's usually pretty straight laced in his humor, but my mom says my mom's definitely said some things that are like, oh, now that's that's off the wall. So, yeah, yeah, I guess I guess I got that a little bit from my mom, a little bit from my mom, a little bit from my dad. I'm a, I'm a byproduct of my upbringing. But, you know, I'm a I'm a nature or sorry, I'm a I'm a nurture versus a nature type of person. So, you know, there's that. All right, one Estes flask use. That should br that should bring me back up to where I need to be. I find I find everyone that has captions are far more kind than those that don't. I run into those with captions who are mostly awesome, and then those who don't. I get those who are okay. Hold on, this is this is a whole thing. I apologize. Wait, wait, are those skulls near me? All right, give me give me a second. Let me let me get down into this like little den and onto the ladder or something like that. That is a lot. That is a whole lot. 
Okay, uh, I find everyone that has captions are far more kind than those that don't, period. I run into those with captions who are mostly awesome, and then those who don't, I get those who are awesome and kind of tell me not to apologize for asking and trying to implement. And those who don't are unwilling to add captions, and they may seem to be mean people anyways when I check using my cell phone to see live transcribes from that. No, 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 it's all right, it's all right. So yeah, and I would I would agree with that. Like, listen, if a person doesn't want to implement them, that sucks, but it, it you can't force someone to do it. You can't force someone to start taking the time to to, to see the benefits of being there for as many people as possible or opening your doors up to as many people as possible. And, and that sounds like an advertising thing, like a marketing thing, like, hey, let me broaden my horizon so that that way I've got a greater reach and I can hit that, you know, like a, a whole different market base. You know, let me let me do this so that that way I can hit, you know, neurodivergent market base. Let me do this so that that way I like I can just, just scroll a little bit more. Like, I'm sure that a lot of people think along that line, like, what can I do to hit more people? And that is fruitful in business, but not to the way that it can be detrimental to um, specific people or uh, specific cultures or anyone with a condition. Like if you're if you're using it with an ill intent to find success off of it, like and capitalize off it, that's probably bad. But it doesn't it doesn't mean that a person not choosing to take the time to implement a feature like that. It doesn't mean that they're themselves bad, you know? It just means that maybe, maybe they're not tech savvy. Maybe, you know, like we don't know what they're going through. We don't know what they've dealt with. We don't know if they've tried and just continue to fail in implementing that. And even when people, you know, they might also be people who just don't want help. So like, we can't judge them for that. It sucks, but we can't judge them for it. That sounds like a Christmas thing, not an ad. Oh, sorry. Well, I mean, I can, I can definitely... I can definitely sell some ads if you want some ads. We'll we'll sell some products. Do it. Oh! Just do it. Yeah! Oh wow, they're only 150 on the damage. Whoa! Whoa! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Oh, that was so close. All right, got him. All right, so I'm thinking I might try and avoid this BK if possible. Like, if it's, like, a thing that I can do, I want to try and see if I can, like, not have to deal with it. Yes, me and a few others are trying to get awareness of it and have friends now that help getting people get captions. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm always open. If anyone were to ask me, like, hey, how can I do this? How can I do that? Like, what can I do to make this happen? Um, which actually I've been a little bit lazy. There's someone that asked me to make a, a stream deck video because I have some intricate setups on how I use my stream deck. Um, much to the help of one of my best friends, or I should just say my best friend. Um, he helped me a lot to make sure that that was, um, a little bit more functional for me to use. And, uh, it really created kind of a resonance within some of the other streamers, especially within our community, um, because it makes life simpler. You know, you can use a product that's slightly more beneficial, um, and more efficient, and if you can do so, like, you should share that. I mean, it's free, right? It just helps others live an easier life. Like, why not share it? I don't know. Little things like that. But regardless, um, all right, can I get this person out? Like, I don't want to aggro them. Is that them? That's the Black Knight right there, right? Yeah, that's the BK. How can I learn to fly? I don't know. That I don't have. After I get a drawing pad... Uh, it's either Twitch or YouTube for me. Well, uh, good luck. I hope it works, Pokemon. I hope it works for you. Which I'm going to play just a little bit longer. I'm going to see if maybe we can get to this pinwheel boss, that or defeat this BK or do something. Because, like, you know, I want to I wanna get to, like, the next step in, but I feel like I'm having a bit of a, a difficulty. And I don't want to, like, overexert myself. But I am having fun. So, like, it's a challenging position for me to be in. Because, like, I want to keep going, but... I also know that my limitations. Hello? Can you come over here? Okay, I haven't pulled the BK yet, and I have pulled one of those. I don't know if I've pulled all of them. I just need this one to, like, lunge at me. Yep, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. OK, 
Okay, got one. Are they coming? BK's not coming. Good. Oh, there's like a thing. Bone wheel shield. Well, that's probably helpful. Drawing pads are $200. I get $30 every day. Oh, there you go. So you'll have it like literally middle of the week, probably. I mean, if you've already been working, that should be done and done. Oh, come on. Okay, this is just this this is a move. This is a this is a whole this is a fiasco. Just come at me. No, no. Oh, that's that was so close. That would have been real bad. Okay, now I just gotta worry about uh, did I pull okay, I didn't pull the BK. Can I get through without pulling the BK? I just don't want to deal with it right now. I'm not in the mood. I'm just not in the mood. I just, I want to, I want to get up to the next point. I want to succeed. I want to progress. I don't want to deal with this right now. I've had far too many pushes where I'm like dying here. I mean, I work every Sunday. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, there you go. It'll only take you a couple weeks then. No big deal. Basically, in a month and a half, you'll be all set. I feel like I've seen this on a stream before, and I'm not excited. Oh, come on. This is the hardest boss in the greats. 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 Great! You guys are just giving me all sorts of good feelings and vibes right now. Thank you. Oh, it's a necromancer, isn't it? So this constantly summons skeletons, I would assume? Just brings everything back to life over and over and over again? This is like a three-piece Janus. He's so hard. Oh, great! You guys are making me feel very, very good about my life right now. Whoa, 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 why are there so many? Is this this you guys are you guys are joke you guys are joking, right? You guys have gotta be joking. Unless there's like a phase that I just did not see, like I just powered through like you guys have got to be kidding me. Oh my gosh. Really? <sighs> Guys constantly trolling me. Literally, literally, like the entire the entire existence of streamers everywhere is just chat being brats and like streamers trying to make sure that they can persist against them. They said Dark Souls is hard. I know, right? Right? Like you guys just see me just power through that boss right there? I just absolutely memed on that boss. Get out of my lobby. You wanna remember what that does? Oh, so I burn all of this down? Uh, so basically I'm, 
I'm I'm creating a terrible crime right now, committing a terrible crime right now. That's what I'm about to do. What? How, how do I, the right of kindling? How do I use this? Where is it? Did I miss something? Can I burn these books? Am I supposed to burn these books? I think I'm supposed to burn these books. It's for the bonfire. Oh, okay. How the hell do I get out of here? Do I attack them? Hello? No? Do I climb up? Hello? Do I go over here? Hello? No? What? There's a ladder? Bruh, where? <laughs> where? Where is there a ladder? I'm blind. I, I literally, I cannot see. There's no way. On the right side of the books. Where? The... In the alcove behind me? You need to go to the blacksmith now? Oh, come on, really? Am I? I'm that bad. Don't go here. Don't go here. Now you're getting into Dark Souls. Let's be real. How much did you trust the person that told you to come down into the catacombs? Um, I mean, I didn't, I didn't trust. I still, listen, Smeep. It's still hard. All right. I have trust issues. I do, you know. Like I, I've got, I've got a little bit. Good, good, go back. You will die like hard. Uh, have you been through on Orlando? I have not. Uh, which, by the way, Forsaken, I'm happy to have you back here as well. Hopefully you're doing well. I'm really scared about this. I, I feel like this is just cliffs just waiting to happen. Huge, huge Johnson. Hello, thank you so much for armoring up here in the vault. Thank you for becoming one of our armored dwellers. Happy to have you here. Wait, do I go down this? I go down this, don't I? I have to follow these glowing orbs of seduction. I'm thinking. Hello? Wait, the Tomb of the Giants, I was already here. I got, like, brought in with that... that coffin. Oh my sh <sighs> Umbra, thank you so much for the 
for the beautiful raid. Hello, how are you? Wait, why do I want a homeward bone? Thank you so much. Umbra, how are you? You beautiful human. Wait, why don't I want to go down further? Why is, is this bad? What am I doing wrong? Uh, hello? I hear another. I hear another. Hello? Hello? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, <clears throat> Umbra, I'm sorry that you have to deal with that. I, if you ever want to chat, please feel free and get with me. You know my messages are always open. DMs are always open. Listen, we'll work through some stuff and figure it out together. And I don't know. I don't know if you're ever looking for someone to like, you know, hold you accountable for stuff. Because like sometimes we need that like, you know, we need the hard personal trainer in our lives in order to make that happen. If that's ever the case, just just get with me. We'll we'll figure something out. But thank you so much for sharing your community with us. I mean, I, I know it's half and half, but at least I'm glad for the good half, you know? So wait, where am I supposed to go after this? Cause like, I kind of want to go back and grab that and at least make an attempt at that and then come back through before I, I die off. Man, you just lost 42k. Why did you go when cuz I don't understand. I I I need I need reasons as to why like I shouldn't explore further. Like where am I supposed to go after this cuz I don't know. Like I feel like this is the next logical step in me continuing downward. You know what I mean? Cuz like I don't know where else I would go besides further down. The reason we were telling you to go back is a dead end for now. There's something else that you need to do first. Did you finish the depths? The depths. The depths? Uh, I didn't I didn't kill like the, the Hydra. Is that what you're talking about? I have not killed the Hydra yet. I'm just sleepy. Well, hey, Pokemon, go go get some rest then. You need to go to Izalith before just exploring the tomb. I don't know who or what or where that individual is. Or if that's a location. I don't know what that is. Past the Copra Demon. I don't think I went there. Wait, is that like, is that like through Blighttown? Is that what you're talking about? Like through, through the second bell? Oh my gosh. The place full of demons under the second belt? Wait, what? Okay, so like, there was the place where there was like this giant like fire creature like on a ledge that I had to fight. He literally one shot me. Just one shot me. I was not prepared for him. No, 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 not a problem. You, you as well. I bet you think you're real clever coming up. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll hit you up later, Umbra. I'd love to catch up a little bit. And again, thank you so much for sharing your community. Always a pleasure. Guys, if, if anyone hasn't had the opportunity, I know I didn't bring it up. If anyone hasn't had the opportunity, I know she's kind of taking a break a little bit, but if you guys ever want to, I would greatly recommend her. She's a great, a great, great streamer, great heart, good energy, real fiery and she's an absolute blast to be around just great humor i know i say great like a million times but she really is so definitely take the time drop her follow show her some love stop by sometime you guys are you guys are gonna have a blast guarantee it i gotta tell you a story please do 
Um, I need to go to the Sen Fortress. Wait, where's the Sen? Oh my gosh, where where are these places? Wait, did you just at yourself? Did you mean to at yourself? Is that like part of your branding? That's really cool if it is. Uh, it feels so good having a job during the summer. Fantastic. I'm glad you have a job. I mean, it's always nice for us to have um, something to look forward to. I personally have been looking myself. Um, I recently applied to uh, teach kids in the age of like five to 10 chess and beginner level chess and uh, amateur or intermediate level chess. Um, I used to play varsity for school, you know, for high school. So um, I thought it'd be a really, really good, uh, like a job, a primary job. And then this would be like my secondary. And if, if, if I ever get to a point where I can do this full time, then fantastic. And if not, no big deal, but at least I've got, you know, something that I can have fun with. And then something that I feel like I can, you know, contribute to, um, you know, kids having fun and enjoying games and things like that. And, um, it's kind of what I'm doing here. You know, you're, you're helping kids find community through, through, uh, something, something fun and, and educational. Uh, the big door with the onion knight. Oh my gosh, those serpents! Those things were crazy! You guys want me to go in there? They're like huge snakes! I did already play both bells, yes. Oh my gosh. You guys want me to go fight those things? Those things were literally outrageous. I don't want to fight them. They like, killed the crap out of me. Why is everything guys gotta kill the crap out of me all the time? I need a better weapon i need to get like a million strength so that way i can wield that like 300 million damage attack weapon or whatever come on up here come on up here okay or or constantly put me in the position where i can't do anything and pr defend myself and protect myself you think it would be much harder to attack a person above you on a ladder than beneath you like, I'm having trouble fighting back on a ladder, and this guy's just like, yeah, lol. <laughs> uh, my weapon is not plus 10. I believe it's uh, plus 7 or plus 8 currently. I've never had a job before, but I understand why it's so hard. I mean, jobs are challenging. They're definitely difficult. Some jobs are easier than others. Some jobs are very, very hard. But, you know, such is life. And uh, you're only in a really, really great position if you can have a job that, you know, you're passionate about and you love and entertains you. I sent you this story, but it has to be approved by mods. Okay, let me... So... So a person came in and was like, oh, yeah, I remember, I remember you put, you posted this on Twitter, right? So a person came in and was like, hey, Stepsis, I'm like, WTF, and they were like, you don't know where that's from? And I'm like, yeah, but what the hell do you want me to say to that? Yeah, do do what the hell you need to do away from here. You don't come in here and start joking with that bullshit. Yeah, I mean, that, that's messed up. No, 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 it's all right. I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, I want to do a YouTube or upload every month. Yeah, I know you were talking about that. You were talking about the fact that you wanted to get into uh, doing YouTube and, and uh, like, you know, Twitch or something like that regularly. I mean, hey, if you can build some habit around it, f fire it up. I was I was actually really thrilled because um, we were kind of talking about this earlier. One of my views just hit like almost 2,000, or sorry, one of my videos just almost hit like 2,000 views, which I've never had like ever. And so I, I was really thrilled to the point where I got like a little teary-eyed. Listen, Umbra, I'm sorry that you've had to deal with the toxicity. You definitely don't deserve it. And if you ever feel like you're in a position where you've got someone who's harassing you just because you're a woman within the content creation space, like literally fuck them. Like I, I'm sorry, but if they if they if they want to be sexist, like there's no place for that here. There's no place for that here, and you 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 are a fantastic human just the way that you are. 
Like, I'm, I'm sorry that you are put in the position where you are subjected to that. And just because you are a woman within this space, you don't deserve to be treated like that or talked to like that. And, you know, I, I, I could I could talk on for hours. I, I was I brought this up earlier. Like we, we have this just this huge issue right now, I think, within the world of streaming that like if you're not this cookie cutter format, like we don't care about you. And I hate that. I hate that because like then there is no there is there is no creativity like we are actually doing things that diminish the value of creativity and that's that's not okay Ooh. Got him. Dark Souls is practically an open world, but some areas are very difficult without proper souls level and you'll be locked at some point until you go further in the story. If you already rung the two bells, you have to go through the big door and explore Send Fortress. Okay, so I plan on doing that. What I definitely want to do is try and get my souls back if possible, and then I want to get the hell out. Is that is that like a bad thing to do? Is that not sensible? There's research that may that males are not good at games. Sorry, there's research that males that are not good at games treat women terrible in the competitive gaming space and that males that are equal or better to women are generally nicer. It was an interesting study. I think I think that that's true of anything. Like people who feel inadequate in any way, in any way shape or form, people who feel inadequate take out their personal insecurities on other people to make themselves feel better and higher up than they actually are. And they could just take the time to practice and do other things to make them more successful, to make them, you know, better at, at, at playing games or, or working or, you know, whatever it is, just literally put in the time to gain the experience, to get better at something instead of demeaning someone else to make you feel better about yourself. I don't know. It's, it's just, you know, people are, people are shitty. I don't like that my stuff auto corrects on Swedish. Oh, yeah, I, I don't I don't know about that. Um, there's a guy on YouTube who sounds uh, as old as me. Oh, nice. Um, mind, mind you, the same person bragged about how much currency and items they have. Uh, uh me on a super grindy game. You have Warframe, I would presume that very, very in invest very time invested okay invested either way uh and i'm like uh my guy i'm happy to have a full-time job you should try it i mean they in in all likelihood they probably also have a full-time job because the games like that are ridiculously expensive um they they probably have a good source of income if they're like hey i own everything in warframe because that game is not cheap it really is not a cheap game for anyone who's ever played Warframe, you guys probably know. Like, that is a grindy game. It's one of the reasons why I got out. It was very pay-to-win, very, like, pay-to-diversify cosmetics. Like, it's just too much. And I didn't want to deal with that. You are so right. The Sun Queen is one of the best invaders I've ever watched. Uh, is that is that a streamer? Is that like is that like another creator or something like that? They're you know they're a creator and they they invade people like that's like their thing. Out. Okay. Alcove on the right. We're gonna go grab our stuff and we're gonna homeward bone. She's a streamer. Nice, nice. Well, I might have to I might have to check them out at some point. I love how, like, the moment I get up here, the light immediately turns down low. Brown chicka brown cow. It's getting kinky in here. Hey, no, 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 not a problem. Uh, Umbra, have a great day. Listen, I'm sorry you have to deal with some absurdity within the space. And, you know, we, we love you. Stay safe, stay blessed, stay fantastic, and listen, don't let it get to your head. I believe in you. I believe in you for exactly who you are. I believe in you exactly what you're doing. Screw the haters. Let them hate. 
Ain't nobody got time for that. Ow! Please, please, please. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, so now I just need to get to wherever my body is. Okay, so I assume if I can stick to the right wall, I should be okay. Give me back. Give me back. Give me back. Give me back. Use item. Give me back. 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 <sighs> Woo! All right, we're out. I did my first day of training that made $70 in tips in just two hours. Pretty lit! That's fantastic. That's really fantastic. Uh, I, I did fight Pit Pinwheel, the hardest boss in the game, I guess. So we, um, we got our stuff back just recently. I just, I just got that back and, um, I'm working towards going to Sen Fortress. Is that right? Did I do that right? Did I say that right? I think. Um, so now I have to go up here, try Kindle. Oh, does it like. Does it, does it do like a 15 Kindle or something like that? Like 15 Estes Flask or something like that, I would assume. Probably something, something like that. Oh, so now I have a 15 plus two. Well, look at that. Okay. So up we go, I guess. I didn't know that it got that high. That's cool. All right. So boom, boom, boom. And boom, boom, boom. So we have to go back up this way, up the stairwell, up the ladder. Probably going to have this guy fall on my head. Yep. Did he fall off the ledge? No. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I knew I was going to die. I knew it. I knew, like, going up the ladder was my death. Uh, Pinwheel is so bad. Oh, Pinwheel. Oh, 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 oh. So going to Pinwheel or having to deal with Pinwheel because of what you deal with in leaving and going through the catacombs, it is not worth the experience. So it's like, you know, it, it's it's uh, anticlimactic. You know, like, you expect something even better, even greater, like a great reward for finishing all the way through Catacombs. You get to the end, and Pinwheel's just garbage. You can get up to 20, but not right now. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so what I should have done is just pulled the guy off of the ladder and then worry about getting up. What I should have done. It's the accurate way to get to the top of this. Now I don't even have to think. Come on down! Done. Done. Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Wow, really? That didn't hit me? How did that not hit me? What? Some people just kill him super early. Well, considering the lore behind Pinwheel, it's no surprise that it's so weak. You should watch Vadi Vidya's video about him to understand better. Oh, okay, gotcha. Gotcha. I admittedly don't spend a ton of time on YouTube, and I feel like that's both really, really helpful and really hurtful because I feel like I get more time with the people that are here 
um, like playing other games and doing other stuff. But I also don't hear like the big things of the world. Like I honestly, I really didn't know anything about Mr. Beast until I actually met him. Um, he came in when I used to work for Best Buy. Uh, he came in and bought stuff at Best Buy at one of our locations because um, one of his, I think one of the Paul brothers, I think was getting married or something like that. Or one of his best friends was getting married and he happened to like live near me. So they came into the, uh, the store and bought a bunch of stuff for his house, which was pretty interesting. But he, he was, he was very, very distant. I mean, like the film crew was pretty cool, but like, he himself was like, yeah, he just doesn't care, which that's fine. I mean, like, he's a celebrity, as it were. He, d he doesn't have to care about anyone. And honestly, it's probably more threatening for him to try and have a conversation with someone. Um, all right. So we have to go up this way. So maybe what I think I'm going to do um, is I, I might adventure and see if I can get into, quote unquote, Sen Fortress or whatever. But I don't want to go too far. I'm kind of wanting to stop a little bit for the day um, just because I've been on for so long. Um, but let me, let me, let me get up here and we'll see what happens. I'm kind of stuck in a bubble on police faults in America on YouTube. Oh, you mean like you've watched so many things in relation to that category that that's all you see now? Yeah, we're at four hours. I might just get to like this, this, um, this bonfire and then just stop. Really high quality content. Nice, nice. Yeah, I mean, I've got, I've got the, uh, I've got the camera, but uh, I don't. I mean, I've, I've got at least some editing skills as well, but I just, I don't put the time into it. I understand that, like, for whatever reason, people are really super interested into transitions and things like that. My pride has always been in, um, like, people who take and do a video in one take. Like, literally, they'll do like the, the entire video in one take. I think that that's, that's really astounding like that people can string that much together and have coherent thought and coherent direction in what they want to deliver in terms of content and not not skip a beat at all i i love that and so watching like a lot of people who just take like a three second and then they cut it and then move on to like another three seconds and then cut it and then move on to like another three seconds i've never been able to understand that because like i just don't find an interest in it um, it's like, okay, so this, this person, this person can't, can't stay focused enough to just deliver on one full sentence. Like sometimes it's literally like cut sentences and maybe, maybe there's a condition there that's going on that, you know, like I don't know about, but I feel like that's just the trend. Like everyone on YouTube does it. That makes me believe that it's not just like one person here and there. It's a lot of people. But can a lot of people seem to like it? So, I don't know. I just don't understand, I guess. Wait, is that... You guys want me to fight that? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There's no way! Even without stuck in the trap, those those guys are destroying me. There's no way. I can't fight that. Bruh, and they're 500 points? Are you... No. No way. This is outrageous. That's outrageous. That's outrageous. That's outrageous. That's so much damage. 
That's so much damage. What is wrong with my stuff? Yeah, no, I know I need to repair my weapon. I just kind of wanted to see what was going on in here. I have to fight these guys the whole way? No, I'm going back. This is... This is a long one. This is a long one waiting to happen. I'm going back. I'm going to stop for the night. I'm going to bonfire it. I've been at this for four hours, and that's... That's like... I'm a, I already feel ill-prepared. Parry or backstab might be the solution. Well, I mean, obviously, I can see how, like, blocking is helpful and then trying to get behind them, but... I do not feel prepared for this. That's going to be a lot. All right, I'm going to I'm going to repair just so I don't forget because I'll forget the moment I'll come in I'll be like, "Why can't I kill anything? What's wrong?" and I'll I'll never remember. Talk. Uh, repair. I feel like I've also been using my armor for a while. Should I let me let me see about my equipment? Because maybe I have better equipment now that I should be using. This gargoyle helm seems like the best option for me. That's a lot lighter and the same. Wait, that's the same armor? Are you kidding? Oh, but no poise. Holy crap. That crimson robe has a lot of armor. Which makes me want to use it. Should I use that? Poise is so good. Great. Okay, so I need to stay on what I have pretty much. And nothing has poise from this category. None of the gloves are better. I would go up seven poise if I got the hollow soldiers with waist cloth for that. But I feel like with not having much, like the hollow soldiers armor is worthless. Like I feel like I should have like this crimson waist, cl waist cloth or something like that. Like everything is better except for the weight. Everything is better except for the weight of it. Which isn't that much different. I'm in 2.1 right now. I would go up to 3.5, so I would literally go up 1.4. I would probably be in the same class, so like my speed would, wouldn't change, but I would go up double the amount of defense. That seems like the smart choice. Wait, did I actually change speed? Really? No way. Really? 28.4. Wow. Just barely above. So I need more... I need more dex... Or sorry, more endurance. That sucks. That sucks. So I guess I have to... Oh, wait, no. Well, no, that... That does feel a little bit faster, but not by much. Um, poise grants you the benefit uh, to hit back when hit. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so like resilience to not being staggered. Yeah, so the more poise, especially with boss fights, that would be great because then you could just get hit and not get knocked down and then continue to fight. Yeah. Okay. Well, either way, um, let me... Uh... Like I said, I think I'm going to stop there. I think we're going to find someone else to raid out there and share all the same love that we've been getting all day with someone else, someone else beautiful. Um, I'm going to see who's online that I know. Uh, yesterday or two days ago, I think we raided someone new. What? I just got... Dude, Antoine, I've been on for four hours. I'm sorry, Antoine, I love you. I'm sorry, I love you, Antoine, I love you, but I... Listen, bro... Oh my gosh! All right, you guys are gonna love this. You guys are gonna love this. I know exactly who we're gonna bring this to. Um, Eterna, Von, Von, Von Todd Eterna, is that right? I hope I'm saying that correctly, but regardless, thank you so much for the follow. Greatly appreciate it. Welcome to the vault and thank you. 
for becoming a Voltola. He's getting better. He's um he's starting to eat. He's been taking his meds. Uh, Maggie's been really good about helping him um, get that, and it's been phenomenal. Um, but we're gonna close down. You guys can vibe with a little Saturday night hype. Um, I hope you guys all have an amazing okay. evening. A great time. Oh, well, wait, fun to watch. Throw up some party so we can get the party to close out on the day. I guarantee you this is, this is headed in the right direction for this. It's headed in the right direction for it for sure. But thank you so much. Just type party in chat. It should throw up a little, uh, little light show for us. And then we're going to get the hype going. But um, I love you all. I appreciate it. I cannot thank you enough for helping us close out on the day and for all the assistance through Dark Souls. You guys have been fantastic. I love that we've been able to talk about a lot of really, really tough topics tonight as well. You guys have been so thrilling with that. I cannot appreciate that enough. I know sometimes it's a little detrimental because, you know, some some people are in here. They just want to enjoy and and have fun with the games and do do whatever. Um, and I try and keep it light as possible. Um, so if you guys ever want to talk through Discord, just feel free to hit me up. Always willing to chat about it. Fun to watch. Thank you so much for the 400 biddies. I greatly appreciate it. If you if you want to re uh, redeem the, the party, feel free to just type party. Um, But last call before we raid. Last call. So anytime you uh, donate 200 bits or more, you can type party with it. And in the process, it'll trigger our light effects and the music. And this is a perfect transition. Into who we're going to raid, I guarantee you. Guys, have a great night. Stay safe, stay blessed, stay fantastic, and we will catch you all very, very soon. I should be on tomorrow for just a little bit before I go pick my dad up from the airport. I love you all. See you soon.